I was just, I think Bullshit. McCartney started well, off as a bassist. Because we've been riding around. Because Paul McCartney played left handed. Okay. He was a left handed bassist. Is this really how we're opening? Are we on? Yes, dad. we're on. Yep. Because <laughs> we've been riding around. Dum, dum, right. dum. Right. Ooh, that was a bass. Dum, 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 dum. We'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> so we are at episode 90. 90 people. Dang. I've been doing this. For 90, no, not 90 years. 90 episodes. 90 weeks. He's Big time. Is it 90 weeks? Mm, give or take. Yeah. Give or take, yeah. Probably. Actually, the first, time the second off. week I shot two. Maybe 100 yeah. weeks. Add but in nice. a couple for the and, breaks. Uh, and so, just to let the people know out there that uh, my co my uh, <clears throat> my co-host, Aya, will be, uh, of course, leaving the show. This is, nah. his last, this is his last episode. Got fired. Um you got let go. <laughs> Who told him? So, it's, so that, you that's, guys, that's what the well, internet said. Layoffs, bro. Yeah, stickers coming off. <laughs> Inflation. Um, yep. Inflation, yo. Yeah, so uh, you did 16 episodes with us. Did you know that? No. You didn't care? Right Thank you. Thank oh, you. This, yeah, let's give it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like 600. Damn, standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, oh, nice fade there. I yeah. always forget. That's all right. So I know you're off. You're going to be off to bigger and better things. I understand it. That, that's cool. But again, yeah, thank you for joining us. It's been as, great. As, as, Learning yeah. experience. Uh, Ready to do your to own show out. maybe one day? Uh, do I don't know, man. This stuff's work. I mean, I don't is know. There, if, is there really work to this? Well, it looks like it. I mean, it is. Right before yeah. we that's started why taping. I have, that's why I have at a meeting. and Chris and Mark. They're the ones that do all the work, really. Is that right? No, I like all I do is just talk and blabber mouth and do whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a good point. That's a You're good welcome. point. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Um, you know what? Then it shouldn't so, be that difficult for me to. You know what? Yeah. So I was I was actually going to say this for the end. Oh, here we I'm go. I'm gonna do this now. Oh boy, he's all changing right. it up. Changing uh, no, it up. No, no, we just just real quick. A toast to my comp, my compadre here. Oh. Salute, comps. All right. Salute, right? Salute. Okay. Starbucks in the my house. Brother. I my see. Brother. So a non-sponsor. So, shut up. All right, so boy, I'm gonna miss right, this. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you right now. So, Ayo, thank you for being such a great co-host. I don't want you to read it. Uh, right. If I Look at if that. I start to tear up, I'll you let you finish it. Sat down and wrote that, and oh. and a dear and a dear compadre to me. Hit the sound. And track. you know you're there for my kids, yeah. Uh, your professionalism. I put that winner because I like saying that mm. professionalism. Mm. Your professionalism, All knowledge, right. and sarcasm have been valuable asset to the Big Mike cast. Okay. I, uh, I'm, we, are sad to see you go, but we are excited for the new opportunities that lie ahead of you. We belong. Good, <laughs> good luck with the coffee shop. You'll be opening, be opening soon after you get all the training you get at Starbucks. You Fact know, check so. that. That yes. is incorrect. So, come, <laughs> go kick some ass. All right. I love you, bro. Like, Kick some ass, baby. We're turkey. gonna miss you. Yeah. So here, let's give it. That was what you did. So I like to know what speech you copied. Yeah, that, we'll talk about familiar. that later. Because you didn't write that. No. Why, what? No, seriously? Did Sandy write that? No. Well, no, no, no. I I did it myself. I don't really believe that. But thank you. That was Chat really, GPT. Was that yeah, yours? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some Academy Award sort so, of Grammy. Yeah. I appreciate it. So I don't know if you noticed, Comp, but. I'm wearing the attire that I'm wearing today is dedicated to you. Oh, all right. When have you ever seen me wear something like this? Um, I don't never. Know. In the, in never. The never. Sometimes. Never. I, don't, I, I was know. wondering what's going on. I don't know. I just <laughs> oh, shit. usually I. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. About that. Yeah, and I am. I was gonna put my royal the flannel. flannel. I always, I always yeah, wore my just, Eddie Vedder. I have a, a, a maroonish brown one that I love. Okay. And, I think I bought it. At I couldn't find it at the thrift cents. store. Yeah, I bought mine at thrift store. Seventy five cents. I bought this. Fifteen years ago. Seventy five. I bought this for three dollars. All you both are missing are some New Balance shoes. 
Oh, I'm Adidas. That's all you no, need. We're Adidas, I'm dude. Adidas. <laughs> yeah, you got Nikes. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's go. Sorry, but. Mm. But Thanks, anyway, Colt. so and yeah. then that hat. You are you a you trainee? Like are you a trainee too? No. What? Oh, okay. Well, keep, this is the hat you gave me last uh, week. We'll be like that one burger show on Nickelodeon. Those okay. two's doing. Oh two, yeah. What was it? The Happy Burger or something? Burger, burger time. Keenan and Kel. Ken- yes, yeah, 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 those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. But who, who was that? <laughs> Chris behind. Oh, that's Chris. Chris behind, behind the, the yeah. this, behind the, the yeah, shade shade there. <laughs> oh, do, oh, do we don't have? Oh yeah, Chris. Can you put the camera on yourself real quick? Do I have a camera? No, I don't. Well, uh, the never shades, mind. Shades covering it. Right? Who's some setup? Huh? Yeah. It's completely closed. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we were going to open it. <laughs> Emotionally. <closed>. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Big Modcast. <laughs> I am your host, uh, Mario Garcia Juno. Juno. <laughs> Mario Garcia Jr., <laughs> a.k.a. Big Mod. Uh, to my left, my co-host... A.O. Anthony Orpeza. Rock Chalk. Uh, rock Chalk. <laughs> and uh, behind the scenes, of course, I have Chris back there running the ones and twos behind the shade. Hi, Chris. What's up, Chris? Chris? Chris. Hello. Chris! Is he back there? Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, my nephew Jose uh, <clears throat> is also with us. And Mark, sitting at the couch. Um, did we... As a studio audience couch, that's what we're calling it. Is that okay? But they're working; they're back there working, so we won't bother those guys. Before we get started, let's uh, hear some words for our sponsors. Okay. This podcast is sponsored by Quinn Concrete Construction. The company motto: No job too big or too small. Whatever your concrete need is, they have the experience and the professionalism to ensure a quality job every time. For a free estimate, call nine one three two seven nine fourteen forty eight. That's nine one three. 279-1448 and ask for Joe Quinn. This episode is sponsored by Goal Fire Protection. With over 26 years of fire sprinkler experience, Goal Fire Protection has built our livelihoods on established relationships and providing quality fire sprinkler systems. From retrofits, remodels, service, repairs, new installation, and inspections, simple to the extreme, we can help you every step of the way. No job is too small or too big for our knowledgeable crews. For your free estimate, call 913-441-3390 or email us at gochoa at goldfireprotection.com. All right, I got through the ads. All right. Uh, Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back for a second appearance by popular demand. (laughs) My man. Yes, everybody out there's been asking when is when is Fernando coming Salud. back? Yeah, does it say something that I don't remember? Uh, his by popular demand, uh, Mr. Fernando Esquivel, right on, aka Nando. Nando, let's go. What's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm glad you're back. Me too. Good to be back. Dance, stand ovation. Appreciate y'all all the time. <laughs> you know you get those ovations. That's just normal. Yeah, thank you once again for joining us, brother. My pleasure. Last, Thanks for the invite. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Last time you were here, oh, well, I guess we were at the studio. Yep. Uh, episode 27. Dang. And now we're at 90. 90. Damn. Wow. The year you graduated. Congratulations, man. Come on now. <laughs> when did you graduate? Thank you. I appreciate that. 96. Oh, shit. That was close. Oh, we should have waited for 96 episodes. Oh, well, actually, no. I mean, I mean, I didn't graduate, if we're being oh, honest. Oh, that's right. I got my good enough diploma. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, the yeah. GED. Tune- yeah, yep. People go back to episode 27, check out Fernando's story. Wait a minute. With a 1.0 GPA. The guy used to drive when he was 12 years old. Facts. Right? Yep. Which to middle great, school. Because I listened to it and I was, I was like, what? Yeah. I had to look at it again. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. My son right now, my youngest son, he's 10. <clears throat> Is he driving? You letting him? Right. I'm, I'm trying to pass right. the torch. Is yeah. he ready? No, he's, he's that's not what ready. I was going to say. Yeah. That like, how did my mom look at me at 12 and be like, Mijo, estás listo. You were the man. Bro. The man of the house, bro. That's what it was. Had right? to do what you had to do. Right? Yeah, pretty much. She had no options. No other yeah. options. Yeah, I mean, yeah, That was it. Drop her off at work, drive to school at 12. Yeah. How many miles an I hour did you go? Man, How though. fast? Honestly, I was I was actually good with it. Okay. Because I was... Scared, though, right? Yeah, I understood, yeah, like, yeah. okay, like, I, yeah, pretty much. It was a, a, a Ford Escort. Wow. Okay. G- GT. Oh, watch out. Yeah, watch yeah. Out. <laughs> watch out. Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That, that, that's dope, though. Um, yeah, so welcome back to the show. Good to be back. 
the uh, especially big with my, AO here. Right on, brother. I I'm sad you. to see that that he's gonna be leaving us. Man. At least but you might. You, you're the last. This is my last, brother. I always remember this. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's bec- he's become a barista. Is that how you say it? A barista. 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 He's making good coffees now. He's I gonna see op- that. Going to open up his shot. I mean, yeah, again, first of all, bringing the mocha. If I was going to make coffee, um, that'd be my own. Okay, but well, it will be. Nope, nope. I, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you're right. Um, and I'm not working for him, by the way. Mario spreading misinformation. I got, I got, I got oh, one it, stock. It, 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 I got one stock in Starbucks. And, uh, it's, and it's grown. <laughs> one. <laughs> Are you done, Cole? Hey, we all start somewhere. <laughs> right. One right. is, is right. where you start. So he's doing it. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Um, I see him. I drive by just to see if he's working. Some bitch is there. So you're stalking him? Okay, um, yeah, cool. I just driving by, make sure my comp's all right. <laughs> Bro, how's, how's 2024 treating you? What's going on? So far, good? so good. Everything's good? So far, so good. Yep. Health? Um, health healthy? is good. Yep. Man, great question. Thank you. I mean, really, HIPAA. really, HIPAA. Yeah, HIPAA, bro. <laughs> My privacy. I mean, come on. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. Tw- Only he would do. Twenty twenty four. So, see, right. See, with the work. Thank God he's leaving. Yes. <laughs> oh shit, Fernando, you got your oh, glasses. Yeah, yeah. I need to put my glasses. Yeah, on yeah. Too. Put your, you're gonna you. are going to need to look smart. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. It doesn't help, but yeah, I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I need one of my glasses. <laughs> uh, twenty twenty four. Good. Yes, sir. But Two four. With weddings, uh. January, February, and beginning of March is kind of slow. Yeah. You know, but it's about to hit. And when it hits, it hits hard. And it's about to in actually this weekend. From this weekend on, we have events every weekend till about about four to four to eight every weekend till November. So for our viewers who don't know and listeners. Oh, okay. You're, you are Fernando Productions. Yeah. And yep. you own your own mm-hmm. DJ, but it's like a wedding production, right? So you, it's right. not just music. Right. But it's it's not just weddings. Well, I mean, so, 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 so weddings, weddings is the primary thing I focus on. Right. Okay. I, like, I don't, I don't advertise to corporate, even though we do corporate. Because right. if you can do weddings, you can do corporate. Sure. Corporate's a breeze. Right. Um. I mean, weddings are a breeze too now, just because when you know how to do them, you 15, know, 15 years, yeah, 10, 15, yeah, yeah, 15 yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. That's wild. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been, it's been a ride. Um, so but yeah. weddings, corporate events, quinceañeras, quinceañeras, some, right. you know, um, really any part, anything, as long as, you know, if, right. if, if, if we're in people's budget, sure. House party too. Right on. You know, okay. stuff like that. But really I would say 90% of, of our business is weddings. And then when you first started the company, you had what? Just you? Just me. Okay. It was it was DJ Fernando Entertainment. Okay. At the time. Okay. And then I added a DJ and then another one. And then I started realizing like, it sounds like it's just me. So I was trying to think of a name. Sure. And I, I remember putting out there on Facebook, like four or five options of name of new company names. Right. And because I, I wanted to take my name out of it. Sure. Because I was like. I don't know. I just wanted to like the DJs that joined for them to feel like, oh, this is a company like, like, oh, it's Fernando. Right. Right. But when I put it out there for a vote, it was pretty much unanimous that everybody was like, you need to keep your name in it Mm because everybody kind of knows Fernando. Sure. And so. So it's solely yours, though, right? There's no partnership. No. Um, Yeah. Right. But, you know, not a not a like partnership with where the. You know, I share the company with someone else, but I mean, all the DJs are essentially a partnership. Sure. You know, um, you know, I, I, I market it like we're a top tier, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. like if you have a hundred thousand dollar wedding, we're the, we're, we're where you need to go. Right. Um, and you can tell that with your social media, your website, you you get that, that impression. And then, so let me get this straight and we'll back up. So you you weren't a DJ originally in in high school I like that but it was at college sorority yep. yeah uh yep. party yeah yeah the DJ wasn't as great okay, okay. he didn't like it yep right and you stepped in because he had what a couple CDs you did or something your research like that, okay I, dude I love it I love your work I yeah love your work. thank you man that's Is that right that, that, yeah yeah how many yeah. times have you booked them <laughs> I, I, he does I, not love your work I haven't been married. <laughs> 
Not yet. Again, he doesn't do not yet. Not, not yet. Well, I mean, not smart yet. man. Says, smart yet. man. <laughs> we don't even want to go there. Bro, right you had quince, I mean, your daughter. Bro, your no. daughter had a quince. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang, was Mario putting you on blast, well, no, bro. No, no, no. The thing is, is that, putting you on what do, blast. What do, now you guys can go ahead and come at me. I'm a single dad with one income at that time. <laughs> This man's living <laughs> dual incomes plus a part-time job. We got right. investors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a whole different Yeah, yeah, got a whole me, so. modcast, the big yeah, modcast. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, easy for him to say, right? 80 hours a week. <laughs> this dude, he's only clicking <laughs> buttons. What I'm are we just, doing? I'm just going with your flow, Cole. <laughs> uh, <No>. Anyway. <laughs> just going with your flow. So sorority party. Yes, that's how it started. I, uh, it was I, a fluke, kind of. Just, yeah, basically. I mean, I love music. I always had the big, fat CD case, you know, for... CDs on each side and it was like 50 pages and I had it full. Yeah. And and the the guy was like you could just tell he wasn't enjoying it. It was at it was at Baker. Right. 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 And I was going to Washburn at the time and we drove there for a party. Um and yeah, I just went up to the guy and I was like, "Hey, I actually said, "Hey, I got a bunch of CDs. You in, can just use them." In the 87 Celebrity Yes, yes, in the 87 <laughs> Celebrity, bro. Not the most attractive ride. He's stalking you, you know that. Yeah, I love it, I love it. I'm it's, stalking him while he's working, and you're, he's stalking bro, you. Bro, the 87 <laughs> Celebrity was uh, a, a cop magnet, though. Oh, okay. Because I had chrome rims on, like, a oh, hoopty okay. ass ride, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, drove that there, offered him, and he said, he said, hey, if he, <laughs> he hit, yes, basically. Um, and... I showed up and I and I said I I'll let you use the CDs. He's like, if you want to do it, you can. I you can drink all the beer you want. Oh, right on. Oh, I was Speaking like, of- done. Yeah. So I went and grabbed the CDs, went in, killed it. Wow. But there was no like mixing, no nothing. It was sure, just sure. it was just song selection. Sure. Cause like a old school mixer, you know, to go left and right. Yeah. With like. A, a CD Walkman here, right. and like a home CD player CD here that you Walkman. just eject. And it just that's just kind of where it started. Where I was like, I fell, I fell in love with like being in charge of making sure people had a good time. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> oh shit, he done tore his rib muscle. Oh, it's like Cat Williams said, where he was like, man, when you get old, you don't have Sorry, to do I anything. Pull a fucking cramp. You just you just yawn, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> He just doesn't want to listen to your story, man. He doesn't want to listen you pull to your all story. these rib muscles. No, I, he's tired yeah, of your story. For, for I Fernando, apologize. Fernando told the story in episode 27 so that you didn't do your research. Right. Okay, keep going, bro. You good? Mario's like, we're, we're, we're past yeah, this story. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm no, sorry. no. That's, that's, for, for that's, the listeners who didn't hear, you know, you, you know episode what? 27. That, that, was, that was a time where I learned, like, you know, if, if I go to, like, a get-together where I see, like, Latinos. Mm-hmm. You're getting Latino jams. Sure. Yeah. If I go to a tailgate where, you know, it's 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 a more like kind of country classic no. rock vibe, I'm rocking country and classic rock. Right. Rock. Right. If I go to a get together and it's it's, you know, the homies that want some hip hop and, and that, like I'm rocking that. You know, like so so that was a good thing that I Pick up figured on out, that, picked right? up a long time ago where it was like, hey, I like what I like. You know, right. I like E40, Snoop, Dre, right. Common, Wu Tang, you know, all that stuff, uh, notorious. But if the people at the party don't like that, it, right. it, you know, they want to party with some Dwight Yoakam, okay. R- right. right. Yes. Right. If I That's got it, we'll before. play it. I'm with you. So that, that was key to like learn how to rock different parties and read that crowd. Yeah. I could do a tailgate, you know, where you could tell just people want maybe a little hip hop. Right. Uh, uh, but some classic rock and some country and some don't stop believing. And like, you know, you just read that. So instead of like sitting there playing all the hip hop shit that I want to play, uh, I, I'm, I'd i rather play what the people that are there want to hear. Yeah. And I, I enjoy watching them have a good time. Right. Mm. You're, you're working that, for them. Yeah. And that's what makes me have a good time. Even if I'm playing music that like isn't my thing really yeah. i look out and they're having a good time and i'm like that's what it's all about right so so you know and that that's that is so true i'm not a dj but uh anthony's brother lewis djs uh-huh and uh i like telling this story i've probably told it like 40 times on this let's on, do it again wait lewis is, your brother. Oh, yeah, lewis is your brother oh yeah, yeah. yeah. lewis is your brother yeah yeah little brother so he, yeah, yeah. Little brother. um somebody had asked me if uh because i have a bunch of rock cds and i dj um this was back in the twenty in the twenties in the two in the two thousands. Yeah, right. All that rock that just yep. come out. Yep. And um, somebody asked me if I would DJ a party, a rock party. 
So I went to my comp Lewis and I said, hey, somebody wants to hire me for a rock party. Let's do this. You have the equipment. I have the CDs. So we rocked it out. Yep. It was yep. Per- and like you said, you watch the crowd. Mm-hmm. You go with the flow. And so, to, and I was going to ask you this, but I, I needed a song to kick off the party. Okay. We've got the setup. We... So I'm like thinking, what can I do to ca- capture the attention? Yep. Michael Bublé. Michael so, Bublé. No, so what I <laughs> rock. So oh. I went with. See, rock. that's why you can't DJ, bro. You rock, See, exactly. He's talking about a rock party, and you mentioned Michael Bublé. <laughs> right. I, I'm, Michael Bublé is like jazz. He is. He's he is. the he's the American Luis Miguel. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Or. Not or the one, current, not the no, hey, or modern, with. or modern Frank Sinatra. Exactly, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So not for the rock so, party yeah. though, bro. But the, but, <laughs> hey, but you know what song I started off with? Let's hear it. Sweet emotions by. Okay, sweet kind of emotions. Now, Aerosmith. That's, that's what it was. Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Okay. So you listen to the beginning of that song, like they're tuning their instruments. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. So that song just slowly starts. Man, I wish I could play it. Great song. Right. Yep. But it play. It starts. For your crowd. And then what what was perfect about that night is I was just watching the crowd. And they were all, you know, talking and they'd stop. Everybody stopped talking. Turn and around. around. They look at the DJ. Yep. And they're like, Two dark okay. skin brothers. Okay. <laughs> these, guys, yeah. these guys have taste in music. <laughs> and that right there just started it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and yep. everybody's rocking. And then, everybody, then people just started to get up and jam to it. Yeah. And then that set the flow. Yep, yep. But every time I listen to that song, that's what I remember. Yeah. You know, and then so Marcos, when I when I told him that story, I, and I we played the song, he was like, oh, man, I can see that. Yeah. And so now every time he hears that song, he remembers that, you know. So so what what is, what's one song that you like to start off with? I know it's so, different, so, different spots, different yeah. parties. Good question, though. It took a while but, to get to that question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to tell my story. It, it yeah. took him a minute. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah. you need to stay. Yeah. No. You need to <laughs> why, stay. Why? Why? Because he's going to be lost. <laughs> See, thank You're you. You're out there thank like you, a brother. lost little puppy. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. <laughs> he's like, he's gonna, now he's going to edit that. But yeah, 90 that's, shows that's, my ass. That's, like, that's, <laughs> that's coming out, right? That, yeah, that right. So, 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 you know, because we do weddings mostly. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm going to sit here and tell what I tell every couple I meet with before they book us is most weddings have the demographics of the wedding is 50% is going to be about your age, which, you know, most of the couples that book me are like 20, you know, three to 27, Mm -hmm. that age of getting married. Some are older, but uh, around that age, you know, I remind them like, Hey, am I right? Like 50% of your guests are going to be like your parents and older and 50 are going to be like around your age. And every time I know the answer, I've done it for a long right. time. Right. Um, that's, that's going to be the case. Wow. So early in the night, you got to play the classics, you know, and be a little more conservative. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you, you right. can't, you can't, uh, uh, you can't start off the night with, you know, uh, drop that thing down, twerk and let that, Right, right. Breathe, whatever that. Yeah, I you hate that song. You but can't anyways. show apart with too much booty shake, bro. Hold on, hold on. You, right. you, you hate that song, but you, but you, you but you play. It. I would play it if, a, have, yeah. if 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 a bride and groom would request it. I would play it. So I have like so I have control of sometimes what I want to hear, but obviously the 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 couple and the client come first. But yeah, if if it's not on their request, I'm not going to play it. Right. If it isn't, then I would. So, yeah, yeah. What if just somebody randomly then just I, comes then, up? I, I probably wouldn't. No, okay. Nah, but no. but you would tell them, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, let me write it down. I'm gonna I got write you. it down. Yep, I got you. I'm, I'm gonna throw it in later on, or I'll say, hey, I'm I'm focusing on the bride and groom right now, but I'll play it later. Okay. Or let me see if I have it, and that way, you know, <laughs> we're good. But yeah, first first songs of the night, you know, September. You know, uh, ain't too proud to beg. Temptations, right? Staying alive, right? Stuff like that, like chill, right? But but I always tell couples like we can be playing that, and then you know by the end of the night we're at Drake, Travis Scott, Megan The Stallion, if that's yeah. what you want, Doja Cat. Um, we get to that, but you can't start with that at yeah, a wedding, yeah. you know, because because the grandparents and grandparents are you're gonna scare them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But plus also so, the amount of alcohol they're drinking. That they get a little looser, as it gets later, middle to exactly. late. Exactly. Yeah. So as it gets later and then the older crowd start to walk out. Yeah. True. Right? Starting starting conservative, 
is like I don't know why DJs don't just all understand that like that's what you have to do because right. at weddings like that or at events like that because. First, you just give people a chance to like ease into it, you know, like mm-hmm. you, they don't want to they don't want to drop it like it's hot right out of the gate. Right. You know, right. Um, mingle and, and mingle, you know, ease us. Take us take us on this little ride like where it's like a like a ramp up, like nobody yeah. wants to get hit hard right out of the gate. Right. So so you do that. It gives the old people a chance to dance mm-hmm. and then they le- they want to leave anyways within like half an hour of when the dance floor opens because it's too loud for them anyways. You know, whatever. Um, ease into it. Older guests can have a good time. And then you could then also I tell couples like if you play that stuff early on for like half an hour or so. Yeah. Then we get some forgiveness from the older guests later when we are playing like a bunch of hip hop. You know, yep. so makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a nice like ramp up process. There's a science. There's a method to the science. Yes. Yeah, and I also tell couples like uh, how hard we go varies too. Mm. You know, the ramp might be a, a kind of a low ramp. Might be kind of a low ramp mm-hmm. where you can't get too crazy. You know, Usher. Yeah, right you on. know, right on. Uh, stuff like this is how we do it, Montel Jordan. Like, yeah. like kind of like that. But there's other couples that want to get, you know, crazy with it. They want a uh, uh, little Yachty, Travis Scott, Rum Drake. Shaker. Uh, Rum Shakers, you know what, bro? They, they don't know age, that anymore. Show your age. Oh, is that they right? They don't know that anymore. Okay. I used to be able to throw that in maybe Check, even like, chick, like one, yes, two, three, even like four. 10 years ago, I could throw that in and I'd still get a good reaction. No more. Really? No. Wow. I mean, now if I was doing a... 40 and over right, even right, 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 yeah. right. yes okay. all day okay. all day rump shapers rump shakers getting played so so yeah so um and i'm glad you mentioned that like that like to me song selection and and so read read your room what, what's your crowd look like um and play to that and um being able to mix like mm. trans actual transitions and mm-hmm. and making them sound smooth mm-hmm. if you can do those two things like like i don't me personally i don't do a bunch of like dj like tricks and right, and, right, and right. like crazy stuff like there's some djs that do some crazy stuff that's impressive like right. when, if you know about djing and you see what they do you're like it's almost as crazy as playing i mean it's 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 they're they're a musician at that point. Right. Artist. Artist. They're right. an artist. Me, bro, I just I just like to choose great songs for for people. Uh read my read my crowd and my but my transitions are are butter. Like right they're on. smooth. Right on. You know, you go from one song to another, nothing fancy, maybe nothing crazy, but it's smooth all night. So when you started and just you, right? It. DJing and yeah. then how long after you started did you hire one cuz you got a you got a staff of DJs, right? I have 10 DJs wow. now. Yep, yep. I like to say they work with me, not for me. Sure, sure. Because, you know, they're right. they're their own Cuz you still out doing your thing too, right? Oh, uh, I mean, I mean oh, no. only with FP, you know, only with Yeah, yeah, Production. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And and most of them the DJ stuff they do is through FP also. Right. Um, you know, I I also under you know, I try to be flexible and not be like no 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 you're only doing weddings for me you know it if they have if they have a couple of events here and there that they want to do like i've never had an issue with it we all like it's a good understanding you know as long as i keep them busy which i think is fair you know right i can't ask them not to not to dj weddings if i'm not able to keep them busy but we keep plenty busy right you know so right um but yeah yeah, yeah, so cool. so I would say so to answer your question, sorry, I would no, say I would say like five years into doing weddings, I was constantly getting calls where I, the conversation was like, Hey, I'm really sorry, but I'm I'm already booked that day. Mm. And like I, I remember I'd be I'd be at my full time job, but I would walk out of the building to have conversations about sure. DJ stuff and then it would be like, Hey, I'm sorry, I'm booked. You know, and they would, their next question would be, you know, do you have anyone you recommend? And I would always answer, uh, not anyone I know that I could like put my name behind for an important event like that. So, yeah, I just don't, you know, and I started realizing like, man, I I should have a guy that, you know, I... I, I say, hey, I'm booked, but I have a guy. And so like, that's kind of how it started. I see. It wasn't like a business plan to grow this company, like to what it became. It just kind of organically 
just became that. I'm, I'm my, my my live painting stuff starting to get like yeah that, okay. Where I'm they yep. call me one person calls me for this date and then a week later somebody asks the exact same date and I'm I'm sorry and 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 there's only know. one you you know right and so then it also becomes an issue of like okay let's say you say hey I'm I'm booked but I got this guy and and you know you might respect him but like they still are gonna look at it like man but it's not you you know right so. Right. So that also took, and that, that now that was strategic. I knew that once I started adding DJs, um, that I wanted to, it was going to take like two to three years for me to convince people that, hey, mm. maybe it's not me, but this guy's really good. Like, you're not going to be able to tell much of a difference, you know? Right. And th- that right. took two to three years to to get people to realize that. And, and so... Because of that, I had to make sure that the guys I hired were top top notch. notch. Yeah, because I couldn't, you know, you can't talk the talk. And then when they show up, they they are like, whoa, hey, you know, I took a couple chances on 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 not many, but two where um, I got burned by Mm. the DJ because it was like, hey, this is the expectation. and, And they didn't come through. So I'm very particular about who I bring on because they got to, I got to know that they're going to, you know, represent the expectation of the quality of the team. Right. Yes. And with you and the name, the brand, yep. the brand right, 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 and all right. that. Yep. Yeah. And so it took some time to sure. convince, you know, so I had to be picky on this end of it while hiring them so that I could say, Hey, it's not me, but trust me, this guy's really good. You'll enjoy working with him. He's a great DJ, great MC. And so I had to make sure that they then, met that expectation right on and over time we got that trust so what i love now is that like wedding planners who are Mm -hmm. you know they're Mm -hmm. like you have to have good relationships with them because they're they book couples and then the couples ask them who do you recommend and that's who's recommending people yeah and venues and other vendors so um so it just took a while you know for them to get used to like okay like fernando has other djs it's not him, but they're still good. And so like what I love now, they tell couples like, hey, like if you can get Fernando, that that's great. But all of his guys are good. Wow. And so. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's I mean, I mean, shout out to my my dudes. You like right. like they kill it, you know, and I and that's what I love about them. Like, yes, they know the reputation they have to uphold. And uh, and I know that and I love that, like they have a respect for that, but they also respect themselves like they. Right. They want to show up and do a good job so they can look good, you know, and um, yeah, it's a, it's it's good. It's a good thing. It's it's, it's been a it's been a lot, a lot of work, um, but well worth it. Yeah. 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 That's good for you. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you. speaking of the business, are you still collecting hardware? <laughs> right. These. What, what do you mean? Like as, as far as competitions it, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Trophies when and was, stuff like that. Was, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Because yep. the last time we had talked, you know, you were showing me your display. You had yeah. a freaking wall full of trophies and whatnot. And you still, are, so you still collecting hardware? Still homes? collecting hardware. Yeah. So just putting it up on the shelf. So, no, hold on. Check this out. Wait, wait, let's let, me, see. let me give me one minute. Oh, boy. 2012 and 13 Wedding Wires Brides Choice Award, right? What? 2014 <laughs> to 24 Wedding Wires Couples Choice Award. 2017 yeah. Best of B&B Winner. 2013, 2015 to 22, the Knots Best of Weddings. 2021, Runners Up, Best Wedding DJ by the Kansas City Pitch Magazine. Oh, yes. The Knots Best Wedding <laughs> Hall of Fame. Love it. Wow. Very cool. Wow. And, right. then, and then you got like over 600 five star sort of ratings from. Yep. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Not not that it matters, but twelve hundred because oh, is it twelve hundred? Yeah, the, the not six hundred. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just Why are you the, crowd, the crowd the crowd just went wild. <laughs> they drowned man. me. They drowned me. Yeah, that's love. Yeah. Okay. he had to so calm 12, down. Like okay, twelve hundred. Yeah, six hundred on the not six hundred or so on wedding wire. You know, uh, did, that's, you, did you ever the, dream that? No, no, no. That was never, that wasn't in the plan, was no, it? That wasn't the plan. It's wild. Ne- ne- never and Congrats, brother. Yeah, yeah thank you man it, but you know it's it's not even work just yeah love yeah. doing it i treat every wedding from the get-go it's been i treat every wedding as if 
how I wanted to, how I would want to be treated if it was my wedding mm -hmm. and I was mm -hmm. paying, you know, hard earned money for the DJ. Right. It's not just about music and mixing. It's, it's about like, like Experience. I connect with the couples. Yes. Yeah. Do you right? Yep. I connect with them and it's natural because I, because I, um, first of all, I appreciate that they like chose yeah. me or us over a hundred other I get it. options. Yeah. Number one, number two, yeah, I just treat it like, man, how would I want my DJ to treat me, you know, on right. my wedding day? Right. And um, plus, I'm personable, so like it hap it just the yeah, connection I, happens I, I, natural. I don't, I don't know if I feel the personal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I'm just this, so so it just it just worked out, man. I just fell right into like, uh, just seems like I I was born to do what I'm doing. So real quick, two you know two Go years ahead. at Washburn. Baseball. Yeah. Yep. yep. Two years KCK Community College. Yep. What was your What was your major? If that DJ work wasn't business, your, just business. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, at, with a minor in uh, international business. Cause, okay. Because it was you know because I speak fluent Spanish, right. so I thought. Yep. 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 But but it's crazy because I didn't plan on having a DJ business. Right. I was an insurance claims adjuster. That sounds exciting, bro. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so. Not at all. And not like my thing. And then I, I did that for like 10 years. And then I sold for a company called Freight Quote. So, so mm -hmm. Freight. Then I sold copiers. Then I sold IT. And, 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 um, but ab around the Freight Quote time is when I started DJing on the side. I see. That's the part people don't know. Like to me, unless you're a prodigy and you started like, Right. What, whatever you're doing and it's like you're just so good at it and that's the one thing you you excel at and you're an expert at that's one thing but like um you know most like to succeed if especially if you're an entrepreneur mm -hmm. you gotta have your full time mm -hmm. and then your part-time hustle what people don't get has to basically be another full time mm -hmm. if you're gonna really go to a level that you're trying to go to yeah true so you know um, and that's what you treated it as. Yeah. 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 So like people don't see it, you know, you don't really talk about it a whole lot. It's like the athletes that are really good, but you don't see all the work right. they put in. Right. So, you know, at home watching YouTube videos on lights and speakers and sound and how to better this and setups and how to, how to connect better with couples and do all this research stuff, starting my website, you know, doing my, uh, my CRM, you know, sure. basically the program that runs my business. Like, so all that while I had a full-time job. Yeah. So I'm, you know, uh, meeting with couples, every, uh, you know, I wouldn't say every night, but like two, two to three nights a week after work, uh, and then doing a wedding almost every weekend, mm -hmm. which is a wedding is like 10 hours or so, um, per weekend. So like I was l realistically working like 70, 80 hours a week for like five years to be able to get to a spot where I was like, okay, now I can leave my full-time job and do this. When did you leave? Time. Uh, seven years ago. Okay. Yep. All right. So I, about half. I flipped the building off. I, I, <laughs> nice. I, had, I uh, did that too, a Trump yeah, building yeah, in Chicago yeah. once. Oh, we did that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah the same building. Chicago. Yeah, same, same, same no, building. That's a, that's a funny story. <laughs> okay. So, so my whole family and I, we're, 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 we have, uh, so my wife, my daughter, uh, my two sons and my my youngest little little Fernando, he's two at the time. Yeah, we're all flipping the the building <laughs> off, and him he's he's got his thumb up like this. <laughs> yeah, we were like, so, we we found him. Wow, the mole is that right? The mole. Hmm. So, you know, okay. So again, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, you know, on yeah. your success, you're doing what you wanted to do. It's awesome. Uh, so that deserves a toast. Does All right, toast. 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 Is this shot time? You toast want to take time, a shot? shot I, I'll let you set it up. I'll let you set up a shot. It's my, it's my first shot. No. Yeah. Uh, why don't, first why don't shot I believe this. that? Uh, yeah. My math ain't math. Is he getting a shot? You yeah. getting oh, a shot too? Cool. I did. Yeah, earlier yeah, I did. I mean, right now. No, I'm good right now. All right. I'm, I, I'm mixing coffee and... I'm sorry. Hey, I got to do salt. And you don't have a lime, but... That's no. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, no, no. I know I, I didn't have the limes, but I had the, the salt, the limoni sal, the beer. Uh, so... Here's to those that have seen us at our best and our worst and can't tell the difference. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Right? Okay. You made yeah. it come up Salute. with it, just like my Salute. Mm. Um, yeah, speaking That's of original so Spanish, thank you. Spanish was your first language, correct? First language, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I still you, remember going to Switzer Elementary on oh, the West that's Side. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, West Side. Okay. Okay. Learning how to speak English. Like learning the colors. I remember they'd be like, cafe, brown. I'd be like, cafe, brown. You're like, uh, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's weird because I still remember that, like in kindergarten. Right. But yeah, Spanish first language. It's funny. It's funny how you say it because uh, going into Spanglish, right? Because you like you just said brown, brown, brown. I mean, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. So I mean, so I have a list of a lot of Spang uh, Spanglish words, and I want to see if okay, if I'm sure you've heard them too. Uh, okay. You know that just they're. I'm gonna guess either they're made up or are they real words. Okay. And we can start off with, like I told you in, in, a, in episode um, 27, that when I heard Tia Chela say, Cora, that means quarter. Mm. Right? Remember that? Gualmar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Gual, Gualmar. So, you know what Gualmar? Mm -mm. Walmart. <laughs> exactly. Bro, and Gualmar is exactly. Walmart. That's, that's one. Yeah, that's one. And that's what, you know what? Gualmar. That's one that I hope don't have Gualmar. on my list. And then okay. by end, what I'll say, Kemperarena. Oh, right. The Camperina? Yeah, yeah. Camperina. Camperina. <laughs> Garache. Garache. <laughs> That's what I heard. El Garache. El garache. Yeah. 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 So, okay, how about... Uh, it's garage. Biles. Biles? Biles. Biles. Yeah. Ring oh, the bills. Bills. Los Biles. Oh, Los yeah, Biles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Not, that's not a Spanish uh, uh, word. I know, right? It's yeah, not. Biles yeah. is not a Spanish Biles. word. Biles, yeah. yeah. Uh, la mar Marqueta. Yeah, the market. Yeah. Yeah. The supermarket. Yeah, supermarket. The market. Marqueta. Marqueta. Uh... Ale, um, a rentar. A rentar. Is that the rent? Yes. Yeah. To a rent. rentar. Okay. Right. Yeah, and yeah, and that's, yeah. And so the correct word was, is uh, alguilar. Mm. Alguilar. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's, that's to rent. That's, that's the, the yes, correct that's word. Rentar. Rent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the... Okay, so bills was cuentas. Cuentas. Um, mm -hmm. Supermercado. Is. It's yep. a supermarket. Yep, right? yep. Um, what about el swapping chap? El swapping chap. <laughs> el, el swap. El swap. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom. Googlear. Googlear, yeah. Have you heard that one? Mm. Google. Google. Okay. Google right. I can see. That's what I thought at first. but Right. You know, troca is not a... Right. Troca is another one? That's camionet. It's really camioneta or truck. Uh -huh. you know, troca. Camioneta. Right. But that's what we, the way we heard it. Yeah. Right? You don't go to Mexico and say, they say la camioneta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not toca. That's, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, I remember that yeah. one. Toca. Um, frisado. Frisado. <laughs> right? <Yeah>. Frozen. <laughs> frisado. That's, I mean, uh, and what, what would you say the Spanish word is for that? Uh, fri congelado. Congelado. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't even know. Yeah, that. yeah, congelado. Congelado. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. never heard that, but I've heard frisado. Also, congelado is a word for ice cream, but you, we also say nieve. Mm hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah. Esteem. Yeah. Esteem. Esteem, which is steam. Oh, el esteem. El esteem. El esteem. El esteem. That's what you I put the e in front of everything, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, el, el vapor is actually the el the vapor. Right? Yep. Right. Yep. Um, vámonos al party. Al party. Al party. No el party. party. La fiesta, party. way. Right. It's yeah, la fiesta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Como, ¿Cómo que party? party. Esta cabrón. ¿Cuál pinche yeah. party ni que tus nalgas, güey? <laughs> no uh, mames, güey. <laughs> ayuda, ayúdame a parquear. A parquear. That's another yeah, one. Yeah, to yeah. park. To park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parquear. Yeah. Which is... Es estacionar. Park. Estacionar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Fernando, you know your shit, man. Bro, come on. Uh, this is his first up, language, man. I'm telling you, bro. Gonna know. It, See, it, I it, might not look it. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm not as brown as you. Right. <laughs> Sorry like, about that. As people. negro, as, negro as me. I had no control over yeah. that. My Argentinian yeah. <laughs> buster ass dad was the, yeah. the, the, the at fault oh, for the, Argentine? the olive skin. Yeah. Argentina. Yeah. Okay. So okay. my mom's Argentina. Mexican yeah. and light skinned as it is. Right. Yeah. And then he's from Argentina. Right. And you know, the Spaniard Argentinian right. Right. connection is if they're light skinned. They look white. Man, yeah. if, look, if, yeah. if you're light skinned, what were the mesas? No, Rock, bro, Rocky and they were black. black. No, Rocky and, and Brian Mesa. Oh, oh, the mesas. The yeah, mesas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were, oh, yeah. Sorry. So, now, yeah, yeah, those yeah. were, they were widow, widow. True. You're you talking about, you talk about Rogacianos kids? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, funny story. We lived in their basement. I remember that, yeah. Yep. We lived in their basement. And sometimes I could hear Rocky uh, practicing with um, Los Aztecas. They were, he was part of the, they were the Aztecas back then. But, well, no, sorry. They're the Aztecas now, right? 
Yeah. Uh, is that? We're talking band. Band. Okay. Yeah. You know right. the Aztecas? I've heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you know, uh, maybe it's not the Aztecas. What? Name some of the Mexican bands, like the popular ones. Um, Bron- el, los Broncos? Here. Or? No, here oh. in KC. Las Estrellas. Las, uh, is, is Juan part of Las Estrellas? Juan who? Uh, Juan Porras? Maybe not. No. no I, I'm not sure. Either way. Okay. Rocky was in the like original, and but like, he was in one of the yeah, bands. He, I yeah. remember that. So yeah. he would practice upstairs. Yes, and we'd be, you know, we, that's what my mom could afford at the right, time. Yeah. Lived in the basement with fucking instrument? rats and roaches. What did, yeah, what did he play? Uh, he played the sax, and he was good. Mm. Rocky, because you know, he, mm-hmm. he big was, boy. Yeah, he had he had the lungs for it. Yeah, I remember that. And Brian, Brian's his brother. Brian, he was more nerdier, uh-huh. but smart. Okay. You know, not to not. I'm not trying to knock him now. Now that I now that you I'm older. You know he lives right here. Does he really? Right here at Schweitzer. Yeah, he lives right okay. there. I okay. see him walking instrument? his dog, and he played too. No, he he, he, oh. he was more of a he was you know he was more of a scholar Got and it. like more of a gamer. Okay. All you right. know, and he had all the Nintendo games and all that. Um, yeah. So we we so so Rogaciano was our landlord Rogaciano. for like three or four years. Yeah. Not the best place to live. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, true. I mean, but you gotta start. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, it, it was mean, it, you, again, situation. You had a roof. Man. You had it's your a roof mom's only, you, right? Yeah. Yep. Since what age? Uh, so, so my dad was never in the picture, and then she never like was like Married, with right, remarried anybody. or dating. So or from anything. the get go, your pops was gone. Gone. Never Damn. met him. Never met him. Because okay. that's because okay. I. So that's why my mom took me to Mexico, mm-hmm. and my grandparents raised me. And right. so I net so so to me my grandmother and my grandfather were mom and dad. Right. I call I call them well my my grandmother's passed away now but mm-hmm. I call my grandfather dad. Sure. Sure. Um so yeah, yeah. yeah. So she took me there and then he passed away. I mean I I liter- I really never knew much of him. Right. You know. Right. Cause I knew no difference, so I didn't really ask much about him or nothing like that. Yeah. That's a strong woman, man. To to from yep. from the get go to and it was just you, me and oh, my sister too, and okay. her dad bailed. Is that right, bro? Dang, Dang. Dang. That's I hard. was like, what are they running from? <laughs> but no, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> is it, it's like people say, uh, dad, dad, the boy, they're running from the, the dad boy. Went to, dad went, like, to go, dad yeah. went to go get milk yeah. and never came never back, man. Came bro. Back. I, but but you know, yeah. Um, yeah, it was not well, like... Well, mom did an all right job. She did a good she job. Did. Yeah. She did really good. Good job. Yeah. How about, uh, not with me, but my sister turned out good, you know? She did good. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, too, bro. No, you I... Yeah, doing, you're no, doing I, your thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, chequear. Chequear, yeah, to check. To check on something, yeah. yeah. Vamos a chequear. Vamos a chequear, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, um, just making up words, bro. Hamburger. Hamburger. El hamburger. El hamburger. Al- Ma- Madonna's, Al Madonna's, Al, Al-, Al- Madonna's, <laughs> Al- Madonna's spelled Madonna's, but <laughs> it's McDonald's. Yeah. Dude, there's this funny, <laughs> funny stuff on Instagram that I follow. That this guy says, uh, "How Latinos say superheroes, or how Latinos say." I've seen that dude. Yeah, dude, yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah. It is so it's funny. I-, I watch that guy all the time. Um, it's funny. Lonche. El lonche. Yep. El lonche. Yep. lonche. Vamos a lonche. El lonche. And you know what? This is what's crazy is somehow my mom got mixed up, but she used to call breakfast um, almuerzo. How do you say it? Yeah, but that was but that's lunch, right, bro? Mm. I've been confused about this my yeah. whole life because there's desayuno, uh-huh. there's desayuno, which is I think that's actually breakfast. Correct. Almuerzo is lunch, but and we always sounds... thought it was lonche. I know, right? So lonche was lunch, almuerzo was breakfast. Yep. That's the way I. I thought. never use this. I you know really. I've never. Or that even though like I heard restroom. it. Yeah, yeah. And even, <laughs> <laughs> even though I heard this, I you know. It was always almuerzo to me. Yeah, that's that's funny you say that. Yep. Because yeah. lunch so, was okay, lunch. So, so yeah. And even, I even asked my mom once, and she was like, "Yeah, that's breakfast." No, mom, it's not Mm-mm. breakfast. So somehow I get all mixed up. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, conflé. El conflé. El conflé. <laughs> Can't get a comer con flace. El con flace. Bro, con flace. special K for breakfast, lunch, and corn dinner flakes. sometimes. Like, it's all con flakes. I'm telling you, it's good con yeah. flakes. A machar to match. Oh, machar. Machar. Yep. Okay, yep, yep. Heard that a few times. Yeah. It makes no sense. <laughs> That's crazy. But. And then, of course, the last one I have, if we, we use the first one was Cora. 
The Cora. El Cora, mm -hmm. yeah, La Cora. Dame una Cora. Una Cora. But really, it's 25 centavos, no? Right, but that's, not, that's too right. long. Right, too long. So it was Juan that I used to hear all the time. Mama, tiene una Cora. Una Cora, yeah. Una cora, yeah. My mom would give me, so we would go, and it was it was a lot of times with my aunt, Matia Chela, uh -huh. and Juan, and Carlos, Sandra, Denise, and we would all go to Indian Springs, and it was, our thing was dollar, hey, dollar movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Italian Delight. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Pizza. And the Fun Factory. Yep. yep and my, yep. my mom would give me 50 cents and act like she just gave me like $20. Wow. And she'd be like, don't ask for it. No me pidas mas. And so did you, you were pretty selective. Bro, I had to choose my games wisely. <laughs> so I played Miss Pac-Man because I could last, or or, or uh, Galaga. Those were the two. Were the, or but you're pretty good at those Galaga. games? Galaga. Galaga, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so, they, but for the listeners, games were 25 cents. 25 yeah, cents. they were 25 cents. What are they now? Per game. Bro, 50 they're, cents they're, minimum for right. something like that, probably a dollar. Right. They're uh, up. Yeah. No manches. A dollar way. And they'll take Jeez. a dollar bill. They take dollar bills, yep. too. Yep. Dollar, dollar bill, yep. yo. So, so, so fun factor. And so every then I would always go back. And be like, give me another one. And she would dig in her purse like she was like digging. <laughs> and then she'd get one, that. another quarter, one more quarter yeah. out. Yeah. And like like slam it into my hand and be yeah. like, that's all you get. You lucky. Don't ask for more. We get nothing. Right. Yeah, we could just watch <laughs> till we got a job. <laughs> my dad came by and threw us a buck. Bro, yeah. she gave me 75 cents. I don't know. Yeah. So you know what's crazy? I, I remember back then going going <laughs> to the fun funny, factory. Though. And yeah, if we didn't have money to play, we'd fucking sit there and watch. Watch. Or just watch or, over somebody's hey, shoulder watch and no. play a game. <laughs> Here was the secret. You start checking. You check? You, yeah. And then or you would walk by the machine that like scoots the coins out closer. You remember that oh, machine? Yeah, 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 yeah. That scoots them out. You walk by it and like accidentally it, like it. Yeah. But it had an alarm. Right. So you had to have the pro like the correct bump. Bump. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. It's funny. You bump yeah. It. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, there we that's go. What that's what it was. Yeah. 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 Bro, that's Wait, was that yeah. Was that the alarm? That or was the was alarm. The, <laughs> yeah. And then the kid that did the tickets would come over and you'd be like hiding behind right. the fucking yeah. skee ball right. machine. And then, yeah. 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 Or you, or you look <laughs> for credits. Up. If there was credits an extra credit on, on the, the screen, pinball machines, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just jump right in there. Start the game. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Funny, funny Th shit. Times were tough, man. Yeah. yeah. Do what you had to do, bro. Yeah. I remember spending $20 in about 15 minutes. It can happen. Quick. Mm. You just throw it in there. All these okay. quarters come out. You play. I'll, you lose I'll, it. I'll make, I'll make this a fast one. Go ahead. $20. $20. I, I still. I stole twenty dollars from my mom's purse. No what? Good. You're no yeah, good kid. and we lived in the projects at the time. Right, projects. Uh huh. Over there on West Penway, oh. where the West side. Tony, way. You know where? Where? On, on the my west side. Way? Way? Over there, Penway. Charlie way. Charlie Mo. Way. Casey Mo. <laughs> Casey Mo. Where the Tony yeah. Aguirre Center is. Right. Right. That yeah. used to be projects. Sure. You get Government it. housing. Yeah. Yeah. You said it. Yeah. Government housing. Nice. All everywhere. Right. That's where. We, that's where I grew up. It was rough. Yep. But um, what was my point? What were we talking about? Money. Yeah. You stole. You stole. Uh, yes. Sorry. All your mom's rent, bro. I, t I I I looked in her purse and I saw a twenty dollar bill and I took it, and I went and twenty dollars. You know Chato? Yeah. So where he lived, uh, right downstairs was like a little store, and they had like four or five video games. Okay. And I spent. Oh, and then you're talking to the policeman, Chato, not Chato policeman. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, Chato. Yes, yes, what's, yes. what's his last name? Uh, mm. Damn. Yeah, you. you yeah, but yes, you know yes, Chato. Yes, yes. Good cool dude. ass dude. Good dude. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, I don't know Chato. Chato. But that's where that's where we grew up in the West Side. Sure. And um. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, st I st stole twenty dollars from her. Played video games for probably like you said, Mario, an yes. hour. But I spent all of it, and then, uh, and then coincidentally. The next day, a cop knocks on our door and says to my mom, like, hey, you have a ticket. A um, ticket. Un ticket. Sí. Right. And we had to pay it. And she goes, and she was oh, like, oh. It's a $20 yes. ticket? Yes. <laughs> and she goes to her purse like, okay, hey, I got it. Right. So no they, problem. Bro, we had to go downtown because she didn't have the money. Oh. As she knew the whole time, so she's giving me this look, look. like it's your Cabrón. ass. Cabrón, te voy a dar tus 
nalgazos, cabrón. Mm. And bro, I mean, I got it. <laughs> got it. But it went down like that. Like, what was my luck? That should have been my my clue to never steal again. Right. It didn't work. Right. Bro. But, hey. You know what? Hey, we were all hard heads, Went through man. some hard times yeah. and then finally clicked. One day I decided I probably should pay for gas. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was time, you know. The yeah, consequences yeah. were like when I started playing college baseball. Yeah, that's about the time where I was like, okay, if I get caught stealing gas and I get put in jail and I don't make it to practice, because once you play college baseball, you can't, you cannot miss practice. Like, there's no excuse unless it's an emergency. Uh, so yeah, so that was like, yeah. So that was the days that before good- you paid. Before, correct, right? You right, know, right. so now people don't know. Like you, you right. Jose over there probably doesn't know because he looks young. Yeah, you know, he's, you, yeah, he's young. He's not. He's not even paying attention to me over there. He's right. in his he's, own world. He's working. Is that Jose? Jose? Yeah, Jose doesn't even hear me. Right. He's working. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Or he doesn't like you. One of the uh, other. Right, right. What, yeah. So, um, you had to. You you could you could pump your gas first and then oh, go in. I and remember pay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'm partly responsible for the change, change of the, the rule. <laughs> yeah, like, nah, hell no. We done got, yeah. Quick Trip done I got, got, meant. wait, no, I meant, I meant Twick, Twick, Quip, right, that right, place, right, yeah, you yeah. know, but yeah, yeah, See, yeah. I thought you meant you were paying your moms for dropping you off at practice and taking you to school. No, you were freaking stealing a few gallons here I mean, and there, call, so. I was borrowing it. Right, right, right. I was borrowing right, it. Right, right. But yeah. But yeah. you know, there came a time where you had to stop. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, but time, but times are just better now, right? Times are better now. I mean, you got to grow up. Some, you know, yeah. you know. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying I'm fully mature. Oh yeah, you're right. We you know, know you we know, know. We know. I'm not fully mature, but you know, you got to, you got to, you got to take some steps in that direction. Right. But I'm actually proud of that. Like, I'm okay with not being fully mature. Oh, you, you still got to stay young a little bit. Right. right, right. So, but I also believe that your business, being a businessman, and you know, a bit of a pillar in the community, and representing the, your family, your name, yeah, that you kind of have to stay, you know, within a certain lane. Sure. Of, yes. Uh, very true. Right. And 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 and, uh, and I mean, there's a there's a switch mm-hmm. that, and I feel like you know, I would I, I feel like I uh, I'm I'm good at that. Like reading my room where I'm at, mm-hmm. and and turning on that that um that switch and a lot of people a lot of people make the mistake and i used to do it when i was younger it's like oh that's fake right but you can especially me you know raised in mexico Mm -hmm. grew up on the west side right grew up in argentine Mm -hmm. also grew up in shawnee mission in overland park Mm -hmm. you know and 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 growing up and you know yeah i got i got a ged because i didn't get good grades sure um but I also played college baseball and finally figured it out and was on the Dean's list. And like, so like, um, I feel like I do a good job of like, it's always me, but I could be in a room with, uh, uh, business people. Mm -hmm. Uh, Um, right. You know, when I used to sell, I used Mm -hmm. to have to meet with COOs, sure. Chief operating officers and CFOs Mm -hmm. because I'm trying to sell them, you know, copy a hundred thousand dollar worth of copiers or whatever. I could do that. You know, I could hang with the homies over here from, from the West side. Mm-hmm. I could hang with my brothers over here and be good. And like, like, and, and all those roles are me. Sure. All of them are me. Right. Um, it ain't fake. It's just, that's all, that's all who I am. So you just gotta, I flip the switch and whatever room I'm in, I could be that and do it well because it's, it's, it's me. Yeah. If that makes you know what, Fernando, sense. Again, you're doing some good fucking things. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you. And that, that fucking oh, oh, deserves... Oh, what we get? Oh, what the fuck? Let's go. Hey, hey the, the DJ air horn. Hell yeah. Yep, yep. And speaking Don't of swing... Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that deserves another toast. Okay. Another toast, come. Bro. Yeah, another toast. That... What, ¿Qué pasó? ¿No tiene nada? No, I got... I mean... You need another beer? <sighs> okay. Well, we'll do that. Just, hey, just a half. Yeah, okay, that's fine. When just I, a half. And when I say toast, that doesn't mean you have to drink the tequila. I mean, it kind of does. Okay, okay. I mean, really. <laughs> For you, it does. Okay, that's good. Cool. Another toast. Salute.
May and we to, get to, oh, okay. what, 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 no? Go ahead. Oh, no, well, you got another rhyme. I, I was, was going to say no, to our to our listeners. Salute, to our listeners. To, salute, salute to our salute listeners, to our listeners. Okay. And, our, and our sponsors and our sponsors. Are, uh, uh, Joe Quinn out there. Shout out, Joe Quinn. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I think I've hit. A, I've, I think I've hit like. 20, 30 home runs off, off no, Joe Quinn. Those, but no, those are home runs. Too. Those, those are fucking bombs. Bombs, bro. Bombs. Yeah. <laughs> um, may we get what we want, but never what we deserve. Oh. Like that call? I don't know about that. I kind of, I don't Salud. know about that one. All right. And so I got, I got a challenge. No, we're still good. I got a, I got a challenge for us, us three. Okay. Okay. It's a little challenge. Um, it's called the, the try to avoid challenge. <sighs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out like a subject or so or so and uh we have to come up with uh let's do an example. So if I said uh what is a uh, a sports shoe brand, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can come up with a shoe brand but without saying the same one. Oh. Right? We can't say the same one. Got it. So try to avoid what the other person says. Exactly. Okay, avoid, got it. Try to avoid it. All right? Yeah. So, okay. So let's go with the shoe brand. Okay. So we'll start off. All right? I'll count down three, two, one, and then just throw it out. All at the same time? All at the same time. Oh, All right. I got it. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Pro Skechers. Wings. What'd you say? Skechers. Skechers? I said Asics. Pro Wings. Bam! Boom! See, All right, that's bro. A with show. the Velcro, that's a good one. That's good. with that's the good Velcro start. crossing the Velcro had, up. Right. You know what? I had some Velcro shoes. Uh, pony. You remember the pony, <laughs> pony. shoes? Pony. Yeah. And they were what happened they, to Pony. Yeah. Whatever happened. Yeah. To so and they were Velcro. Just whoosh, the two straps. Was Pony the the check mark looking? Yeah, like, kind of like the v, Nike sign, but instead it, it was a check mark. mark. Kind of a wide V. That's what I thought. Was right. It? I yeah. don't remember. I just yeah. Yeah, you're right. And. I had those shoes for the longest time because because mm -hmm. once I got them dirty, I'd spray paint them white. Yeah. Or polish they, them. Get the polish I out. did polish them. I spray yeah. painted them Good white. Idea. White polish. Yeah. Yep. And, and they worked happen. out. I wore them for about four Pro years. Wings. So. Damn. Those, those were my outdoor shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you had to wear your outdoor shoes. You had your school shoes and you had your outdoor shoes. And then shoes. you had your outdoor shoes. Right? Because mom would get mad, you know. You can't be, <laughs> can't be wearing those. That's she all right. give you some. The, oh. Ponies for ponies, one hundred twenty bucks. Oh, now now Are Jose's the awake. Ones? <laughs> now Jose's awake. <laughs> okay, your pods out. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are we doing another one? That's oh yeah, I got oh, a bunch okay. of them. Okay, oh, yeah. so oh, yeah. let's go. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Old school hip hop group. Okay. Uh, one. Okay. Are we doing? I'll, I'll let you group? count, I'll oh, count, count it down. It's a group, not individual rap. Correct. It's a group. Okay. I feel like two, at least two of us are going to say one. Okay. Okay, one. Oh, the old school, what you Start from, decade. Start from what three. Decade? Backwards and then. Three, at, two, one. Try to get, get fresh crew. Sugar Hill Gang. No, I see Damn, we did. okay. I said Tribe Called Quest. I said Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh Crew. Sugar Hill Gang. Good so, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tribe, is Tribe old school? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, they how, are. how far back? Mm, they were like probably ninety one. Yeah. 90? Okay, I guess that is old school. Uh, late, right? It's it's early old school now. Okay. I mean, I was hey, bro. He, that's showing his yeah, age right bro. there, right? No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Ninety could, is how many years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. not the twenty hey, four years talking, ago. You're talking to somebody. No, sorry. No, it's almost thirty. It's about thirty plus. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, hip hop's been around fifty. You know what? It's what I'm saying. How how far back is that? I use a calculator. Yeah. The math doesn't do math here. Math, Mathy doesn't do math. Or yeah, what's there's no math here. Math ain't mathin. Yeah, uh, you know, no, right. I'm not. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say because I'm gonna make you. myself look bad. Okay, ready? No, uh, let's go with this one. A local barbecue spot. Uh, All right. Damn. Okay. Cool. Okay. We're not gonna say the same. I think we are. You think so? I nah, think so. I don't. Right, I know what you guys are gonna say. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you go know ahead. what we're gonna say? Yep. Okay. If you know what we're gonna say. Then you say what we're gonna say. Okay, it's not right. part of the. Okay, okay. Go ahead. and no, it's not yep, part yep. of it. But right. 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 My mind knew you my were going to say Rose. My mind's telling me no. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I figured one of you guys were going to say Rose. Yeah. I, I, I was, you I was uh, don't, I, I mean, I, you're going to hate me for it. No, I will bomb. never hate you for nothing. Zardas is good. Zardas, I think Zardas so is fire. 87? The sauce is good. Yeah. Okay. I haven't been the sauce is good. The sauce is good. The spicy shit. I got to get the spices. Spices is good. Yeah. You don't like it? 
You know, I have to get yeah, spicy, spicy barbecue. Yes, same. Same. Yeah, okay. Anyways. Okay. okay. Anyway, enough of the barbecue. Um, a number between one through eight. Okay. okay. Ready? Three, two, one, seven. Two. Ah, cabrón, we both got seven. Yep. What'd two. you say? I said two. two. Is there a reason why you said two? Because I didn't want to say G. five. <laughs> I was five gonna say five. Okay. Okay. El Capitan. Yep. Is that is that a Spanish Pudge. word? Seven. Capitan Pudge. Is, El Capitan. Is that Spanish for captain? Mantle. El Capitan. Capitan. Yeah. Mantle. I think he was seven. What is it? Mantle. Uh, Mickey Rocky Mantle. Mantle. I mean, oh, Rocky Mickey Rocky. Mantle. <laughs> Mickey <laughs> Mantle. Mantle. Is that a seven? Seven. Seven. seven? I didn't know that. I think hey, it's, oh, I was thinking Rocky Dennis. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. It's funny because because I was a catcher. Yeah, I was a oh. I was a catcher, and so yeah. seven. I I was seven because of Pudge. I see. Remember I Pudge? See. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Rodriguez. Sure. You kind sure. of used to resemble him back Bro, there. He was a stud, he was? dude. He was. Stud. He met, was like five four. Yeah, but what people right? don't realize, I met him once, and this was in the steroid era. Your your era of steroids yeah, or right. his? His era. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, right. I I played college ball in the steroid era, right. and and trust me, I thought about it. Nineties. I yeah, I yeah. never did it. You thought about stopping? But, no, about. <laughs> Oh, using. Sorry. <laughs> using. Sorry. Um, I never did. And Son I'm glad bitch. now that I'm old, now, now that I'm older, I'm glad I didn't. And I'm glad I have, I've never have because I've seen dudes in the gym when not like I see them now, like 10 years later. Yeah. And you could just tell, you know. Do you ever know so you playing against you? Huh? Playing against you, you know, when you played, what, Angels, right? Oh, yeah. When yeah. we played. Yep. Yep. Uh, there was talk that we thought you were. Are you serious? Because you were, you were, you were. I, I kind of you worked I, out a lot. But I worked were, out a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 had I done roids, bro, I'd have been huge. Oh, right. oh I bet. Right, 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 right. Huge. Right. right. Um, there's a couple guys that have played yeah. there that I know. You know, I mean, oh, I sure. don't know, but just I look at them and I go, okay, look, like I work out five days a week and I look. I how work I look. out. I work, yeah, yeah, that. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I, you know, and 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 so I can usually tell when dudes use steroids. Sure. Um, sure. But yeah, by the tracks. Anyways, huh? oh no, they they no, shoot themselves in the ass. ass. No, no, just looking at him. Oh, it's, it's a whole different. You body. can only naturally get so big. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, even if you worked out seven it days a me. week, that's why I stopped because it was scaring me. You know, because because I could even look at guys that were like ripped. What's up, Jose? Uh, Jose's not on roids. He not anymore. The Rock's on roids. Oh, definitely. Get out of here. Is he? The Rock's on roids. Yes. Get out of here. There's yes. Definitely. You, definitely. You can't maintain that level. Bro. At, at, at that age. Yeah. He's on Mr. Roids. Johnson, I have nothing to do with this. I would literally bet 10 grand. Nah. So Even what? Okay, cool. Yeah. But the food regimen is... Not but the, the food people, regimen the is for him eyebrow, to be... The people's like, eyebrow. Ripped. But the roids the is what makes champ. him like... Boom, yep. Like... I mean, it makes exactly them like, right. but hey, no hate. I don't, I don't have any hate against guys that do steroids, even like baseball era steroids, because, um, like The Rock. Oh, so what? Like all the wrestlers are doing steroids, right. and so is he, and it and it helps him in his career and do that. Who cares? Man, fuck That's his choice. Yeah. Uh, baseball players. In the time that we had the the steroid era, okay. So Barry Bonds, if he did steroids, was facing a pitcher that probably did steroids. So it's steroids versus steroids, and he won every, every time. time. He's the best hitter. Now nah, we don't even want to go into no, that, but good. he's the yeah. best hitter in the universe and every universe that exists of all time. Roids or not, but with roids, of course. Like, but again. If it's a roided hitter against a roided pitcher, you can't convince me that he was cheating. They were all cheating. And he was still the best. So that's how I feel about yeah, that. This is what I heard every time he hit a pitch. Boom. See ya. Gone. Bro, his eye. He oh. could he would let go of pitches. Nephew. This Jose. He, he you too. Let me, let me, oh, let here we go. Play. But it's different when you take a record. Let, let's say like uh who were the Martin McGuire and Sosa. Can we hear him on the? No, no we, we should. Better, we but should be able to Martin normally. If he's loud enough, yeah. He's talking about Hank. I, I hear that. Okay, okay. Jose, I would entertain about, that conversation. Should we put a microphone on Jose? So we, we, he I mean, should. He should move up there. Like, like. Okay, okay, okay. But like, he just woke up. So Jose's <laughs> argument is Jose's argument is that if you take a record and you're on roids. Versus against a guy who wasn't on roids, right? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll hear that. 
Yeah, that's what happens. I, I would I would I would have that debate with you. Yeah. But see, that's the thing with bonds is that people don't know. Pre bonds, oh. pre steroid bonds was skinny as fuck. He was, here, but he was phenomenal, bro. He was phenomenal. Hitting Bomb. He was on his. Way. He was going to be a Hall of Famer anyway. Year one. Yeah. You but I tell. hear you on the record thing, and honestly, I haven't really. Because most people that argue it argue it like, like he shouldn't have done roids, and then the people that argue the roids are like, it didn't matter that he did roids. I never really heard the argument of like, hey, it was okay that he did roids, but he took records from guys that didn't do roids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he, Only if he didn't, because even if it was let's say twenty years before. Yep. If those pitchers weren't on steroids, the like, pitchers weren't on steroids. Yeah, it, it's just the, the circumstances are different. I hear it. Was he great? Yeah. Sure. Damn, I wish Jose was on. I mean, like he's spitting facts over there. Yes, he is. But so, anyways, that's yes. my nephew over there. But I, I, I personally still believe, just like even if you look at the older dudes that like the hitters, like man, Bonds is just he was a, 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 a from another universe. Do you, Do you remember the the Sosa and McGuire? Oh yeah. Dude. Yeah, well, I was I was Dude. I was playing hey, ball. I was hey. in my prime of playing ball everybody, when they were doing that. Everybody was watching baseball. Yeah. When, yep. Dude, I I mean, we went to go see Sammy Sosa play when he came here to play mm. the Royals. And we were lucky enough to see one of the record hitting home runs that he wow. did. You know, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. I fucking blast it. It was cool. I mean, they they, they revived baseball at a time where like people were losing interest because of the strike. strike. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. The ninety three so, strike. But but so again, like everybody wants to wants to judge them and shun them, and it's like you don't know. Like you weren't in those locker rooms. They those players said that they would literally have like a bowl of pills that they could just grab and pop, Dang. like it was candy in the seventies. Like nerd no, 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 no. in the seventies, no, 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 in in that in that Sosa. Oh, okay, McGuire, okay McGuire. You know uh, the the the. What were the bees? Cool. The killer bees from the the Astros? Oh, Baggio, uh, Bagwell, Bagwell, and the other B dude. Was, was it Bell? Bell? No, 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 was no. Was it a Bell? No, uh, maybe. Yeah, he's left fielder. I don't know, but either way, yeah, yeah, it was Bell. They were they 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 all talk about how you know they yeah. used to they they was so common that they could just literally in the locker room have a bowl full and then boop, crazy, pop yeah. pop something and be good. But uh, anyways, Damn. sorry. No, that's okay. Baseball's no, that's, a passion. I'm passionate about DJing. I'm passionate about baseball. Right on. Yeah. You know. Speaking of baseball, and baseball. How about a famous black actor? What? Well, duh. Oh, okay. this is our. We're on back on try to back avoid. On, yeah, back on try to avoid. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. A famous okay. black actor. Uh, okay. 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 Three, two, one. Will Morgan Portier. Freeman. Who? Portier. Oh, damn, that's classic. I said Will Smith. I said Morgan Freeman. Okay. Oh, yep. Famous. Yep. Come on. De oh yeah, you can't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was either. Or I was going to say Denzel. Denzel Morgan also. Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, who's the other one? And uh, Cuba Good Jr. Samuel Jackson, who's in some trouble in the whole Diddy thing. Ooh, is he? He's in that recently mess as well. Yeah, he's he was. He no, was, yeah. no, my man's from. I know, bro. It's too yeah, bad. Diddy, Diddy going down. It's too bad. Okay. It all catches up to you if it, if it really Speaking, eventually. Okay, you know what? A lot of that does. So hope, I, I'm 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 praying I don't get a knock on the door one day and hey, they're no, like, hey, we these. saw we saw an '87 Chevy celebrity <laughs> pumping gas at Quintrip <laughs> thirty years ago. We yeah. got it on and you, VHS, and you just left and didn't yeah, pay. Yeah. <laughs> you owe us four thousand right. dollars with interest. There's something yeah. like that. Yeah, like an old book that you didn't return yes, to the bro. library. Yes. Not yeah. good. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah we're all, we're goes, all sinners. There's no saints here. Bro, I, you know what I really should do is buy Quick Trick Stop. Quick Trip they have Stock. Any. They don't have any. They don't? I've, I've looked into it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're privately owned. Damn. I'd buy one stock. Bro. You know, go with my Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I would because I'd be like, thank you. You got me through my childhood. Sure. And sure. now that I, I, things are okay, yeah. I'm going to invest in your company. Oh, yeah, Thank absolutely. you. Appreciate so, you. <laughs> All right, next one. A basic color. All right. Okay. Okay. Got it. Three, two, one. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. That's not basic. <laughs> Chris! Fuchsia. Wait, Wait. hold on. Chris, yeah, Chris. <laughs> he's, he's really in there. Chris said. Can we, can we introduce him into the... 
Chris said it's not a color. What did you say? I said that's not basic. Oh, that's not basic. Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> Chris, open the blinds up, bro. Chris, are you back there? I totally forgot he was even back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's why he covers up the blinds. Oh, so he, stay funny. away from us. All right, we got that. Uh, a member of the R&B group New Edition. So there's six of them. Oh, oh I only know one. Two, I mean, no. I know him. I'm just trying to think of my favorite. Okay, I'll tell my favorite. I got him. I got him. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you can say last name. You don't have yep, to say yep. first name. All right. Wait, hold on. New I'm going to say the whole name. Hold on. New edition. New edition. From the new edition. From start to finish? No, no, no. Just name your favorite artist. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Okay. Your you, favorite yeah. artist. Okay. Not, it doesn't have to be or just favorite. just an artist that an you ar- think of. One of the members nah, of the I'm group. giving you my favorite. There's six. Yep. Okay. Right. You can say either the first name or last name. Okay. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Bell. Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Who'd you say? Bell. Ricky Bell. Bell, Ricky Bell. There you go. I was gonna. Uh, man, I was gonna try Ralph Trent. That's uh, who I thought you were gonna yeah. say. Is Ralph? Yeah, Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. Mama. Yeah. Oh, speaking of singing, uh, <laughs> this Saturday, of course, it'll be a week later. All but the down week? at the oh. down at the the nest karaoke. Oh shit! Uh, when the we doing it Saturday? Saturday. It's on Saturday. Call them, do I sing karaoke? Bro, I haven't been to the nest in 10 years at least. Well, when Saturday. I was with the angels. Oh, well, you said, because that's why I had asked you earlier, what are you doing this weekend? And you said oh, the, okay. ne- the okay. wedding. And I was like, oh, after that, yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. come on down. Saturday. We'll be okay. singing our hearts out. Me and AO, we got to do it. Oh, shit. What are we, what are we singing? I didn't know. Islands in the streams. <laughs> Buble, Ebony Buble. and Ivory. Oh, no, we're going to sing. <laughs> Let and it Earth. all out. She said peaches and cream. Peaches and herb. Oh, peaches, oh, peaches and cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Ebony and ivory. Yeah, yeah, we might. Which one are you? I'll be Paul McCartney. There you go. Yeah. yeah. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Now I'm blind. You're a little darker. Nah, oh, I'm a little I'm lighter. That I can't see. That's yeah. what took my glasses off. All right. Yeah, we go. Got that one. Uh, a John Travolta movie. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we All right. Are, okay. I'm ready. Cool. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Grease. Paul Staying Alive too. Wasn't he in Staying Alive too? <laughs> You can't answer the question <laughs> yeah, yeah. with a question. Yeah, he's staying late because he was a Wait, dancer. the second one? Yes, too. That was, the second it was, one. was it, what Why was it can't called? you just say staying alive? Just oh, one. Because you guys might have said staying alive. Oh, okay. You know I mean? <laughs> oh, so he had to say two. Who like did you that say? Have been the same. Oh, what did you say? What did I say? I don't know. Oh, I said Grease. Grease. My I said favorite movie. Mm-hmm. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Classic. Okay. All right. Good movie. Yeah. Uh, a Kansas City Great sports movie. team. Yeah. All right. Kansas City. Okay, got, got it. it. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready? Three. Three. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Current. Comics. Ooh, he were comics. I went with current. You say the Braves? Mavericks. Uh, uh, oh, the Mavericks. Gino Chiraldi. Goalie. No, he was a forward? What yep. was he? Bro, Enzo. playing Enzo in de Kemper, de in El Kemper Arena. Yeah. With Carlos Olivas. Yes, bro. My Carlos, cousin Carlos played, was with the, played with the Comets. They were called, weren't they called the Rockets at the time, I think? No. Or was he with the Comets? Yeah, I think it was. They're called they called Los another, Padres or something. No, he was with, I think he was with <laughs> oh, the Comets. Oh, no, that was down that Leo yeah, Albi primo. We just yeah. a family full of yeah. athletes, athletes, bro. Yeah, athletes and firemen. Right. right? Yeah. Um, all they do is save cats all, and sleep all day. <laughs> Cook, and cook, cook, cook where your eat. tax money's going, yeah. people. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say that. that wasn't Juan me, Carlos. They know. They know. They know. I, I say it to them that. every time I see them. <laughs> yeah, that's saving funny. any cats today? That's yeah, fucked up. Um. All right. Uh, this is uh, number ten. Thank God. This is simple. A day of the week. Man, all right. come on. All right. Three, two, one. Friday. Friday. Oh shit! We're thinking. Bro, we're thinking Friday movie Friday night. Yeah. Just got, got paid. paid. <laughs> Party. What? What did you say? Uh, Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Man, yeah. bro. Why, why Thursday? Say, That's weak. Say, cool. That's you would weak. say a useless day of the week. <laughs> I think we need a no <laughs> drinking Thursday. policy uh, during podcast taping. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> that was fun. Okay. You know what? That deserves a toast. We did a good job. Another That's one. Another, I agree. Another toast. Okay, another toast. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Okay, you stick with I'm the beer. Gonna, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not. I'm not. So, Sandy, I am not gonna. Re- I'm not responsible Here for your husband tonight. Right. Some ships are wooden ships, but those ships may sink. The best ships are friendships. Oh God. To those ships, we drink. Ay, Dios mio. <laughs> yeah, you like that one, in it? Make that a little longer? That's the, yeah. that's the comps. That's the comps that's toast. That's right there. <sighs> My coffee's getting hot. I mean, cold. Dang. Man, All right. Toasting with let's go. Starbucks. Segment. For this segment, let's go with the uh, top 10 best movies of all time. Via 
Bro, am I? Hold on. Okay. I got an advantage here. Why? Because I used to work at Blockbuster Video. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. I worked at Blockbuster Video. How long did you work there? Not long. No. Pretty much like I'm, every I other know, job I know I exactly. Had. I know exactly what your position you steal was. Steal tapes? There. Bro. <laughs> I know. I don't want to say what I did there. But I'm, I'm going to tell you what you did there. What? Uh-oh. You were the guy that rewinded all the tapes. That was... That, was, that job there sucked. There. I got caught. Yeah. <laughs> you got caught what? Rewinding tapes. But, but why? Why? You're supposed to know. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so, oh, you're talking about me? I got, okay, I see what you're saying. So, so, Jeez. so... At, so I worked at the Blockbuster at 119th and Metcalf, mm. and I also worked at the one on Johnson Drive. That's why Mission. you got. Yeah. That's why you were two timing. Yep. What do Very you mean? Different. What do you mean two timing? Yeah, he was supposed to be at one, and he was at the other one. Rewinding tapes. Rewinding tapes. Hmm. No, no, no. Um, so, so, um, so they had. A, so we had a, a employee recommendation. You know, employee favorites. Okay. Right. Wall. Right, right, right. So like all the employees they had like pick the tape, pick the movie know. they liked. Yeah, yeah, like like like, yeah. like for the like, customer. Like uh 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 Chad had like right. Chad uh, he had like reservoir dogs right. and Ooh, like classic, you know, pulp fiction. Ooh, that is on right. List. Stuff like that, you know. My shit was <laughs> American me. Right on, right on. Blood in, blood out. That outside, right. Menace to society. All right. Boys in the hood. <laughs> Mi Vida Loca. Mi Vida Loca was on there. Selena. Bro, it was clear who the Mexicano was. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Mi only... Vida Loca was la, la Blue Eyes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. only one? Uh, above the Rim. Oh, right on. That's a good one. You know, everybody else was like, act, like my shit was just all gangster shit. That's what, Scarface. Scarface was Casino. one of them. Yes. Scarface. Uh, uh, good Goodfellas. Ah, uh, was Goodfellas out then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodfellas. Might have been. So this is all gangster shit. Okay, we just talked. We there just you go. did all top ten. That was my that was and, and it's still. Ten. But I would add, I would add Friday because Friday was now mm. back then. But Friday, it's Friday, Friday night. to me is my just my got paid. probably all time classic funniest movie ever. Yeah. Uh, Blue Streak is up there for me too. Yeah, Ooh. Life is up there for classic. me. Classic. Speaking of, did you know that Life? And son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> what was uh, the, the the gangster movie when they, they in the forties? Oh oh, Harlem uh, Nights. Harlem, Harlem Nights. Nights. Yes, that thank those you. two intertwine with each other. What? And a lot of people don't. They know have that. like connections too. Yes, I could see that. You mean like when they were in the casino? Because you remember Martin and Eddie, and he got robbed, and then somehow, yeah, they got yeah yeah yeah, and it was kind of like the same year, the same yep. era. Yeah. Oh, that deserves But Harlem Nights got the credit was due. Yeah. I feel like life went under the radar. Mm -hmm. But it's That's a classic. Funny. It's funny. What, was, what was the baseball player name? The, the one who couldn't oh, talk? Uh, can't get right. Can't get can't right. Get right. <laughs> Out of pappy. <laughs> <laughs> who's baby? Said, who's, remember when the... <laughs> that's El Mudo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, that was, uh, can't get that right. was Bernie Mac. Out of pappy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that baby's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go top 10 Jose number, still not paying attention Number 10 Oh there he is He's awake He's Okay back. He's Number back. 10 um, The IMDB right Via IMDB They're, they're top 10 to say Number 10 is The good, the bad, and the ugly Okay Good right. We I agree respect that Number sure. 9 Fellowship of the Ring mm, Nah Haven't watched it Sh Yeah no. Right Fellowship of the Ring That's, that's one of them yes. Oh you're right Chris yeah. Chris Open the blinds bro You exist yeah, Chris? You're a person. <laughs> it works at a movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number eight. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, cool. Okay. Number seven is another. Uh, it's Return of the Ring. Oh, that's mean, also King. a Lord Return, of the Ring. Return of the King, yeah. Right. For them two to make, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, number, number six, Schindler's List. Ooh. Schindler. Oh, that's a, that's a good yeah. one. Number five, 12 Angry Men. Oh, that's a real good one. I, I don't, you know, I don't see, I don't, I don't think I know that one. Black and white, and was it, it was with um, not Henry Ford, but um, Henry Fonda. Fonda, yeah. yes. Yep. That's a great movie. Yep. Is it really? I need to check that one out. Ah, it's classic. Number four, Godfather 2. Hmm? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Corleone, right? That was her last yep. name. Yep, yep, Corleone. Corleone. Uh, number three is The Dark Knight. Hmm. 
I agree. Questionable. Yeah. Good movie. No, that's that's a great movie. That's the Heath Ledger one. Yes. Yeah. Heath Ledger is the Joker. Oh man, come on. Okay. Can't okay. Get, can't get better. Now. I'm number not going to argue that. Number okay. two is the Godfather. Sure. And number one, Friday for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and number one, live. <laughs> Good fellas. Rocky one. No, no. Shawshank Rocky. Redemption. Fernando with Let's number go. one. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, Shawshank. That was, I, I can't disagree with that. I 5,000%. Yeah. I, Shawshank mm. Redemption is... Fuck yeah. yeah good bro. job, Fernando. You, yeah, you're the man. Good, it is a good flick. You know what? Fuck yeah. That, deserve, that deserves like, another toast. That, right? That's another, another toast. Yeah. I'm, I'm all out of coffee. Let's go to the water. <laughs> I got a little thick. I got cold left. coffee. I got chocolate milk. Now. But I'm, I'm five deep, I think. So yeah. I'm just going to yeah. do a little, little sip. Salud, cabrones. Salud. Uh, here's to hell. Oh, boy. Here <laughs> May the go. stay there be as enjoyable as the way there. Wow. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You like that quote? <laughs> A.O. knows what that's all about. He lives You're that life. Me. He lives that this. life. Uh, all these oh, dad jokes today. today. Like, Are those dad jokes? Dad jokes? Dad jokes? Dude, I mean, he said bad. He said bad. <laughs> I did say bad, yeah. All right, uh, we're coming down to the very end, Nando. Vámonos. Okay, so we're going to go pues. with uh, Would You Rather. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you some we, Would I You Rather. I play this with my kids in the car. Okay, let's see if uh, I don't... I don't uh, They're way oh, better than me, not. though, but... Okay. Okay. Would you rather fly or be invisible for 12 hours? Damn. Being Saying being invisible is kind of creeper. Kind of creepy. Which is okay. Right? Which is okay. Nobody knows. Nobody's going to know this but you. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, we're telling I, I, everybody. I, I, now. But I'm not going to lie. I'd rather fly. I'd rather fly. Yeah? Yeah, hell yeah. So you'd rather be a pilot? Yes. Well, no, you didn't <laughs> say in a plane. I know, I know. I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. You gotta fly. Like Superman. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come, what would you rather? Fly or uh, be invisible? You are a person. Fly. I know you can pick fly. invisible. Yeah. It, if it had to do with business, I'd like to be invisible. <laughs> like like if Quick Trip was going to uh, oh. sell some stocks. Okay. Like to be in that office oh, for a that's bit. That's such you know a good mean? point. Okay, time out. When it came to business, <laughs> right? Boring. Yeah. Sorry. This guy must Sorry. be fun at parties. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No, hold on. Time out. I I'm gonna have to change my answer. Huh? Do you know how many like you could be rich if you're invisible, or you can be a dick, whatever name or you, you want. Or you could be a perv. Okay. Fine. I'm I'm no. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get my money. I'm gonna go into meetings that are talking about. Big money the, acquisitions, yes, bro, investments, yes. going public. I'd rather be invisible. <laughs> okay. Yes, for sure. Okay. That would be the only reason. <laughs> not me. creeping on the yeah, commodity. I'm, I'm not 20. Next I'm door. I'm not 25 yeah, right. anymore, 19. Right. I'm not like, in college. Like trying to watch Cinemax with, <laughs> when it's like blurry, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, uh, we yeah. all did that. Yeah. We all did that. Yeah. yeah. The blurry. I mean, that. I used yeah, to I somehow. Could see, I could see a boob, kind we had, of. We had this cable box that it was... Brown. You hit the buttons Brown with the cord. Yeah, the, 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 the yeah. level one, two, yes, or two three. Or three. Yeah. Yes. And I remember there was like Skinamax was at the one, bottom level. It was I remember like, like one and seven. If you push them both at the same time, <laughs> somehow you get this blurry blurry you boob. boobs. But yeah. you see the boobs though? Enough. It was like three Enough. in the morning. It was like three in the morning and I'm up. <laughs> And then I hear mom and dad get this up. This is and true. Then, this is real oh, life. I know it is. Like, I know it is. It is. Perbs. Right. Who's the pervs bro, now? Right? I'm sorry. I mean, when you were 14. <laughs> yeah, I, spent, right. I spent a lot of time right. at the Oliva's right. house. Juan and I, bro, we used to uh, I know. watch a lot of TV. They lot. had the satellite TV. Yeah, the satellite. They were one of the first ones to have the satellite. Like, oh. like not, we're not talking uh, uh, Scott. What's it, What's the satellite? Uh, Direct TV. Direct TV. The little tiny dish. The things like this. No, they had the Look like they work for NASA. It, wow! It, it took it took it took a whole turn. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You had to go out there. And bump, I had a, my, one of my it. one of my uncles had one of those, and it was freaking Bro. huge, man. Um, I thought they were rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, would you uh, rather have knees, rodillas, or elbows for a week? You can either have, only but I one. have them both. No. Now for life. No, but I'm saying. Oh, if I had a choice. If you had a choice, yeah. Would you rather have your knees or yeah, your elbows? Oh, for knees all day, every day. Yeah. So you'd be like this. I'll, I'm good with that. But I'm walk. I'm at least I can go places. Well, you can go places. If I didn't have knees, you can go places with without knees. You, you can, would walk like okay, like soldiers. Like nah, a, I'm good. Cause, cause, 
Yeah. Knees. Okay. Ao. I would rather have my elbows because uh, I could I could work. Yeah. Oh could yeah. He's see, a, he's could, a, you see, uh, could you see Ao okay. riding a bike? I mean, you could you could draw with your toes. <laughs> I've tried. I've already tried that. You might attract some new customers. Oh, shit, I can't do that. that. Yeah, no, I start no, no, pulling. No. Yeah, hamstring. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, time travel or freeze time for an hour? Oh, just an hour? Just an hour. Time travel for an hour or freeze time? Or freeze time. Hmm. If I could choose what I wanted to freeze that hour for. Okay. Then I would, I would yeah, I could freeze time. Yeah. Yeah. Give me one more hour of life. Like you go to the bank, you go to the bank, you freeze time, boom, <laughs> instant millionaire. True. I like the way you think. You got a quick yep. trip. Quick trip stop. Give you some gas. Foot, no, Ayo, thinking, we got to get you. I was thinking gas. At you least get all the one gas share. Well, that depends on the stop. physics of how time is stopped. Oh, uh, here we go. Chris, you know what? Never mind. That? Stay who's behind that? the fuck. Stay behind the, the blinds. I think I would, uh, uh, I'll time travel. He's like the square root of two. It's a division of three. Is speaking of blinds. (laughs) Speaking of blinds, read minds Mm. or be a fly on the wall. Oh, for twenty-four hours. hours. Fly on the wall. Fly on the wall for twenty-four hours. So you'd have to let the family know if you see me a fly flying around. Don't fucking smack it. No, I I don't want them to know. So I can hear what but, kind of shit they're talking <laughs> about me. Okay, but what if you're what if you're not paying attention and you're sitting on a piece of bread, and one of them fucking smashes you? Yeah, I, I, bro, you think I'm gonna get smashed? Dad went to go get, Dad went to go get milk, and he never came back. I survived the West Side. You think I'm gonna get smashed? <laughs> you're and a fly. Argentine. You're a fly. Both, literally, horse fly. West Side and Argentine. I ain't getting smashed. Okay. So yeah. But, hey, a lot of them shots down there, and you're about to get smashed. Maybe. Yeah. I'm doing okay for four shots, right? You're almost four? Four. Yeah. Or so. <laughs> or so. Three and a half. Yeah, I but, but I will say this. I pride myself on how I handle my alcohol. I really do. Sure. Salute. You know? So, like, like, like doing drink all you want. another one? Hey, drink all you want. Just don't get sloppy. That's it. Oh, right? Salute. Oh, cheers. Hey, cheers. you know what? Here. On oh, that shit. note. Right. Here's looking up your address. All right. There you go. <laughs> So am I gonna have to follow you home? Nah, I'm good, bro. Okay, just call us when you get home. I got an Uber. Okay, there you go. Okay, yeah, because I, I I'm an advocate of that. I buy people Ubers all day. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. and offer that sure. just random text. Hey, I know your ass is out tonight. I'll get your Uber. There you go. You're a good man. But you know what? Salute. To that, salute. Salute. Here's it. To staying positive. And to testing negative. Hey. <laughs> All right. And one herpes outbreak is not... Oh, wait. Wait. Never mind. Sorry. Oh. All right. I, toast to that. I like that. All right. Oh, and then... So this was the last one right here. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought you meant the last <laughs> to be, toast. No, not right. the last toast. Um, right. Number five. Uh, to be shirtless. Okay. Or barefoot for a whole month. Did you say shirtless? Oh, I wait. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Zoom in. Zoom in on him. <laughs> Three dad bods right I was like, now. Get ready. Get ready. He <laughs> says, be, be shirtless or barefoot for a month. A whole month. Sing tennis. Oh, that's another one, right? Sing tennis. Sing yeah, tennis was another word. Yep, yep. yeah. Tennis. Tennis and. Um, so shirtless or. Shoeless. Or barefoot. Yeah. Barefoot. I mean, no socks. I'm going to say shirtless. Shirtless for a whole month? Shirtless. Yeah, I don't mind shirtless. Even like, even if like, yeah. well, it could be any month, I guess. December. Oh. I'm done, I see. Well, either way, you're fucked. No True. shoes. There. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> City. Yeah. I'm going to say shirtless. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say shirtless. Because that could be fun. Yeah. Like, if you have no option to wear a shirt and you just got to go shirtless, I think that'd be fun. Anyways. Yeah, no, I get you. All right, Fernando, it's been a bad, a, a blast. It's been a blast, it's brother. Been a it's been a blast and a blast. It's been, a, it's been both. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you being here, man. Been good. Yeah, been you know, good. We'll, thanks for having me. And before we end it, what is your Mount Rushmore of uh, the people that you've looked up to? Oh, around Rushmore, and we'll we'll leave it like that. Damn, four, four. Hmm. We can go three. So I would say. 
I know, I put you on the spot. So, no, 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 I, 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 it's a great Six question. Six shots in and I put you on so, the spot. So, no, no, it's good. Seven. So, so it's complicated. Like, you know, my, my mother would be on there. Definitely. But it's complicated. Okay. You know, but absolutely she has to be on there. Mm -hmm. Um, my grandfather. Abuelito. Def, my grand, so like my grandfather and my grandmother. So that's really three. Oh. You know? Okay. You want to go with those three? Because my grandmother and my grandfather were like. They raised you, right? They raised me. And I think they're the ones that like, you know, if, if you think about it, mm. and you guys are probably similar and maybe, you know, you probably thought about it too, but we grew up in rough situations, you know, in rough neighborhoods with rough shit going on around us. And we somehow stayed out of it for the most part and survived it. You know, and and came out on top, and and so like for me, uh, my grandparents are a big part of that. They 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 they're the ones that like are, you know, I'm kind of a, a like a softer, more like empathetic kind of guy, mm -hmm. and I think they gave me that. Mm -hmm. They were really, you know, you know how grandparents are. Yeah. So if they raise you from the time you're you know six months old till you're eight years old, like they instilled that in me, like love, nurturing, just. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And which I needed at the time because, you know, growing up where we grew up and my mother raising us single. Like when I was here with her, it was very it was rough. You know, it was like a rough like, you know, she was dealing with her stresses of being a single mom and all that. And my grandparents were very loving. What, real quick. Where did your mom work? What was her job? What were her job? So you, she worked at like uh uh, thanks for asking, cause that that's like so. She worked all always. She worked like housekeeper, you know, for like apartment complex. Okay. Uh, she worked at like uh, uh, like where they make uh vegetables and shit. Like in the in the uh, uh, what's that? It's if if I said the name, you know, it's off Kansas Avenue. Where like you know, she's working in a freezer place, like packaging vegetables. Mm. Okay, Shit like that. Like you know, a all AG Associated Grocery. No, not that. But yeah. no. Um, she worked Sorry. for like like National Envelope Company. Okay. You know, st packing envelopes. Did she know? ever do a Z label? Never did Z label. No, she didn't. But a lot of a lot of her comadres did. Yeah. She worked uh, for Lee Jeans okay. at the where you know in all. Quindero? all Oh, or the one in um, off a of highway, off, right? a, off the highway, off the highway, yeah, okay, off okay. I thirty five, where the big right, thing, right, right. the structure. Oh, I always right. thought that looked like yep. the 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 building that the gorillas in at the zoo. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It kind of yep. gives that look. look. Yeah. yeah, I've always thought that she she worked at McDonald's. Sure. At, Madonna's. Mad at Madonna's. Madonna's. And I'd be like, Mom, did you like? I expected her to bring home like chicken nuggets every time, but they was just like, it doesn't work that way. Nope, like no. they don't give them to us. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She did all that. So that's three. And then my fourth, damn. So my round, my Mount Rushmore is tough, man. Cause, uh, cause, cause number four could be three different people. So there's a tie for fourth. Three there's different. a tie for four. My coach? college baseball coach. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How'd you know that? There's always a coach. Yes, bro. There's always one coach. My college baseball coach, because since I didn't have a dad, mm -hmm. he like instilled some shit in me that I was like, opened your eyes, open my eyes, yeah. and it was hard because I never got like that kind of honesty. Yes, I'm with you. I'm that with was, you. That was him. I'm with you. That's that what you're supposed to be about. Yes. Yeah. That was him. That's a good but coach. I also had, um, you know, parents. In high school, like my friend's parents mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. took me in at a time that was rough. Yeah. yeah. I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had, she was the lunch lady mm -hmm. at my high school at Shawnee Mission North mm -hmm. who took me in, you know, and like she, after school, weekend, what, what do you mean? Well, like, so like I was living out of district uh -oh. using a fake address and I okay. got caught right. somehow. But I also didn't fly under the radar. I was always in trouble. So they did the research and realized I was out of district. And they were like, well, hey, we got to kick you out. Um, but if you want to stay, it's $1,500 for tuition for the semester. Mm. And uh, when I told her, this is the lunch lady. When I told her that, she walked into the office and wrote a check. 
Nice. From the me. lunch lady. The lunch lady. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they must pay a lot of money at Shiny Mission North. Her name is Nadine. Ladies. Shout out to Nadine. Right I'll on. never forget that. Um, uh, I also had... Um, so did you get to stay at home or did you have to like no, live no, no. with Nadine? No, no, no. I got Nadine? to stay at home. Okay. All right. She paid it. Wow. And she literally... And she worked there and like a baller, she wrote the check and looked at the vice principal and said, anything else? Dang. Because she knew they were like... Yeah. Like I was on the rate, you know, anything else? And he said, no, that would be all. And she said, go to class, Fernando. Wow. Baller. Never forget that. Um, nice. So she was high school and then middle school, Mrs. Bosch. Mm-hmm. You know, she was a, a buddy of mine, mom that I played baseball with. Same. Took me in to their house. Invited me to their house every every Friday, every Saturday, every weekend. There you go. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, so I, all eight of those, all of them, to, bro. So they, they must have saw something in you, though. You know I what really, I mean? So really. Mount Rushmore went. Pop, 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 that's pop, good. Pop. That's cool. I, I always say no, like, cool. like, like I'm, I'm thankful for how things turned out, yeah. right? Because they were, they could have easily went. But if you look at the percentages, and 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 shout out to you guys too, where we grew up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the influences compared to like what, you know, like now I see like my kids who live in Lenexa. Mm-hmm. It was not the same. Oh, they don't we, get it. No, they no. don't get it. So right. like, shout out to us for like surviving what could have gone a right. different direction. Um, but for me, um, you know, yeah, I've worked hard for where I'm at. But like, man, I had some people put in place at certain times in my life where I mean, I was in juvie, you know, I, I have spent some time in jail over stupid stuff, but they stuck with me. But never stealing gas. Uh, that I never was in jail for stealing gas. <laughs> that I was very good at, apparently. apparently. But the other stuff you, uh, uh yeah, you yeah. weren't. But you man, I, I'm, 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 I'm really, and, 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 uh, Miss Bosch passed away. Uh, Ooh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. This year. Really? amazing i mean amazing woman you know so there's always a teacher or a coach and she was or, a teacher bro or a relative but she or wasn't my uncle. she wasn't my teacher but oh, she was a teacher okay all right um, and she just again just because i was friends with her son she took me in and she was ve- just the one of the kindest yeah hearted nicest souls that's great you know yeah. took me in you know one of those things where like this kind of shit matters you know like when you're a kid and your mom and you're you know can't afford shit sure. mm-hmm. and i'm playing ball with her son and she sees that i'm always and i'm the best player on the team okay by far okay you know i shined because i was good at baseball that's why i played Baseball paid my college. Right. I played pro ball. I've been, I've traveled because of baseball, you know, Mm -hmm. even fast pitch softball. I've Mm -hmm. traveled to play for free and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, she saw that I would borrow everybody's batting gloves. Mm -hmm. And so when I stayed the night, so when I stayed the the night, I woke up one morning and she goes, Hey, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to go buy you a glove and we're going to go buy you some batting gloves. Would you like that? And I was like, Yeah. Hell yeah. And to me, that was like a big deal. It's like Christmas. Yes. Yeah. So like that kind of kindness, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Really, really. Uh, Shout out to both of to man, all three Mrs. of them. Bosch. Yeah. Coach. Uh, 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 Nadine and Coach Burleson at Burleson. KCK. God damn. He was hard. But he pulled. He made me dig for something that nobody ever made me dig for. Did he have a saying? Bro. Some coaches have that saying, like put it, it, in the work. It, right. No, like no, that, it wasn't you know the I mean? saying. It was it was just brutal honesty. I like see. call me in his office and be like, this game's not for you. Mm. You're, you're, this game's not for you. I can see it in, I could feel it. And it made me like be like, no, I'm gonna fucking prove to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, nice. right on. all 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 of those things I could talk about, each story and what it did for me, I could talk about for an hour. Yeah. And 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 unfortunately. You know, not everybody. We don't have that much time anymore. Not number one, we don't have that much time. Number wow. two, <laughs> wow. Unfortunately, Sorry. most kids in those situations don't get that, right? You know, or they don't get it. it they don't. Oh, it doesn't. You know, true that. True yeah. that. Yeah. So, but so. again, shout out to my grandparents for just making me like a little bit softer than what I could have been. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You know. 
That's why my nickname in Argentine, you probably, you don't know this because even though we grew up in the same area, we were different time frames. So my nickname in Argentine, in Argentine of all places where you want to be like kind of hard, mm-hmm. you know, a little bit like, mm-hmm. you know what my nickname was? Mm-hmm. Smiley. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> bro, it was Smiley. Because you smile all the time? Yes. And I'd have people be like, bro, you're smiling. Like, like. I, I love that smile. Don't ever, like, I'd have dudes, like, we'd play at Franklin basketball. Mm-hmm. Several different times, like, dudes would be like, don't do, lose that, man. You look like you love life. Like, you, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to be hard right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways. That's great. Right. That's great. Good shit. Yeah. I got, I got, a, I, I, I've been very, very lucky when yeah. it comes to that kind of stuff. Appreciate this, bro. I yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is great. Of course. Yep. yep. And our last toast. Oh. Uh, our last, our last toast to... I mean, I got to take a shot for Mrs. Bosch uh, okay, and Bosch. Nadine. La, la, our last toast Coach to... Coach Burleson. Burleson. Coach Burleson. Yep, yeah, to Fernando's uh, Mount It's a half Rushmore. a shot. Plus three. Yeah. Plus, plus two. <laughs> plus two. Of <laughs> all of them. That's a good yeah. problem to okay. have, though, right? Here we go. Salute. Okay. What, what's uh, Here we got another one. To, oh, the, to the ones who love us, <laughs> the losers who lost us... I'm out of here. And the lucky ones <laughs> who get to meet us. I love salute. it. Oh, salute. I don't know about that one too. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, but salute again, Fernando. Hey, Fernando, thank you for um, your second appearance here. Fun. It was fun. It was great. Good shit. Yeah, you know, good shit. This is better than the first. Another... No fan. Hey, Agree. I love this. Hundred percent. Maybe another time. Ch- maybe. Hey, it's hey, Mario's ninetieth I... though. I mean, I it's... hope he got fucking better in uh, this. I hope, yeah. yeah. I. You know, plus and... he's had a co-host that brings his game up. Right on. Thank you. You gave him that much credit. Thank you. Which, by the way, AO, if you if you guys don't know, I don't know which camera's on me, but AO, you got his art. I mean, very talented artist. Pick his shit up. Thank buy you, something. Brother. Support. Yep. Right on. Which, I'm next. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'm wants a lead pain by, of him. I'm going to lead by example. Saying, shirtless. <laughs> that's what he wants. I know. That's <laughs> where he We will talk about it after this show. I knew was a catch. <laughs> we'll talk about it. All right. Okay. Th- uh, AO, again, thank you so much for being here. For the 16 episodes that you were able to do with us. Strong 16. Yeah. Wait, wait. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Sorry. Is he done? This yeah. is it? Yeah. Oh, what an honor. I gave him this his pink. He's, I re, he received his pink slip before he came in. So. Ah, right. okay. So right. he's Se- Security walking him out? Yeah. So he yep. would definitely Chris, be walking yeah. out. Chris is security. Just hey, sleep. I've had security so. walk me out of a job one time. <laughs> <laughs> one time before. <laughs> I'm, bro, it's, so, it's been a life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yep, Ao, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Okay. Call. Are we? Can we? Are we? Are we? Appreciate. It. I got a song for him. Uh oh, here we go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear. <clears throat> Although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. It's a natural. <laughs> You belong to me. I belong to you. Okay. So okay, okay. That was the worst, yeah, but I love it. Boy, I appreciate yeah, it. Boy. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Cole. You got it. Fernando, thank you. Good time. Thank you. Good time. Thanks, Thanks for having you, me. Seriously. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching the Big Mob Cast. Until the next season, because this is the end of the season. Until next season, adios. And Jose's awake. Mm-hmm.